What's up, what's up, everybody? Today, we are on episode seven of the Black Cast, the Orion Black Cast. Yes, we finally gave it a name. It's up and rolling. We got my dude, Matt Bevins, over here, and he is literally like a TikTok sensation right now. Like, everyone uh, is just... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, yeah, redo, redo, redo. Um, <laughs> no, you go, man, you are. You're, like, blowing up. You're huge in the metal scene right now with all these wicked TikToks. I've been loving them, for one. Like, I feel like we kind of, like started at the same time if if hmm. i will maybe i don't know maybe you were already out and like i was like kind of like neck and neck with you with like <laughs> followers and stuff <laughs> I, mean, I mean yeah I, I don't know exactly when you started um i i started posting like metal related content um in november or december of like 2020 Oh, okay. Yeah, probably so, it was around the same yeah. time then. Right before COVID kind of hit. It was in the middle of it, actually, when I kind of started. Mm. But, man, you've grown so much. Like, you have, like, 262,000 TikTok followers. You got, like, 9 million likes. Do you even know these stats? Like, your eyes are like, whoa. Uh, am, am I embarrassed to say that I do? <laughs> I <laughs> no, do you're, you're not. You're a content creator. We all know the fucking numbers. We watch them so mm. much, and it's very, very... It sucks. <laughs> yeah, Which it's, we'll a bit, it's a bit draining. We'll definitely get into that kind of stuff and talk because, uh, you know, you got uh, two content creators here. We're just going to be a great conversation. Yeah. But yeah, you got lots of uh, likes on here. You have a cool Spotify playlist as well, which I kind of dug around and uh, kind of wanted to see what you had going on with your link tree and yeah. stuff. And uh, yeah, I really like what you got, man. You just you, even your Instagram is huge, too. You got like 180,000 followers on there insane and i did look at your yeah. youtube you did start doing some reactions i see i i i started um and let me <laughs> i started and it ended up being a lot of time um and i i work full-time outside of this so i don't it's not like i'm a content creator full-time but I, I did start doing reactions maybe i'll start doing them again um I, i'm the kind of person that if i'm gonna do something i have to kind of go for it like go mm. go all in and i didn't feel like i was going all in like i kind of felt like i was doing it just to kind of dabble and i'm not i don't want to like ha half do it you know if i'm gonna do reactions like i want to do it um so no. maybe i'll go back to it at some point but yeah no I, I totally know what you mean i feel like i was kind of the same way as well i mean i wasn't i'm before this i kind of did a little bit of content creation stuff on twitch with my ex-wife but that was about mm -hmm. it and she was more or less the forefront of it i was just behind the scenes kind of mm -hmm. fell into this and i'm surprised i even started doing this again afterwards mm -hmm. but i just wanted to catch up on metal that was kind of how it started for me yeah. um but it's really cool how you actually make your content your your content is more around humor it's the comedy aspect of it but yet yeah. like really showcasing the bands that you absolutely love uh just <laughs> these funny things that you do on here and with the new and upcoming songs as well so like i think you're doing just this fantastic job of either getting yourself out there as a content creator and uh yeah you've definitely grown a lot and i feel like we've just been kind of like following each other back and forth i know we've had some conversations yeah. with some stuff and i'm very grateful and thankful for your time today so guys if you are listening to this podcast or even watching it on youtube give this guy a follow go encourage him to do some more reactions because we need some more reaction content out there and uh yeah i think you could definitely do it man you have the personality for it you're a fucking good looking dude like it's there's no brainer oh, you're too kind you're too kind <laughs> um, I, I don't take off my hats because that's where it gets bad Bro. My, uh, my, my, my hair dude my hair <laughs> bro like I, i'm totally at peace with it now okay um but when i first started um posting on on like online just videos i, I would just get roasted for my hair like no. like people would think i looked like 40 and it's like graying and it's thinning and my hairline is horrific so i'm always wearing hats so so people my, but but my fiance always tells me she's like well at least you look good in hats She's like, you could look bad in hats and have bad hair true <laughs> and she, she's just like yeah yeah you have bad hair she doesn't, well, actually, no, that's a bit harsh. She probably doesn't, she doesn't say that. She doesn't say that. But right. I think deep down she might know that. <laughs> are you guys married? A transplant. No, no, we're, we're getting married in August. Oh, nice. You guys are engaged. Yeah, right we're engaged. On. Yes. Um, but uh, I need to get a hair transplant. It's my biggest insecurity about myself. Um, and I'm totally at peace with it. Like, like, it's all good. I can just toss on a hat and I'm okay. Right. Um, but man, oh, I hate my hair. I, but at least I have a strong beard. Like you, we both have strong beards. Oh, this is, I don't really like my beard. Dude, I, no? <laughs> where was it? I was, uh, I did a podcast yesterday with another guy, a band called Dark Divine. I think you, you might know who they are. 
Uh, oh, very, yeah, yeah. very like motionless and white vibes. And yeah. uh, I pulled up one of the the reactions as we're in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> and dude, I, I had this just big Amish beard. I'm like, oh my god, that is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, th- that's how it always is, though. Like, if you ever like look back at stuff, like I, I'll look back at like a video from like months ago, like just just like a couple months, and I'm like, why did I do that? Oh. Like, why is my, like hat like that? Why, why did I not trim my beard? Like, why did I film this when I like rolled out of bed? Right. So why did I do? Like, why didn't I just plan this a bit better? Oh my gosh! Why am I wearing that shirt or something? Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of the same way too, and it's weird because like I don't even, I don't wear other shirts outside of my own shirts, and it and it sucks mm. sometimes. It's more in the summertime where like we're going out, I could put up like a button up shirt or something like yeah. that, and it's like ah, uh, I'm like, but my I need a black hat. Like I'm the same way. Like I, I don't really do my hair anymore. I used to uh, I used to be in finance. Like I used to actually, oh, interesting. yeah, I did like, uh, I have my securities license, life insurance mm-hmm. license and oh, uh, broker's nice. license as well. So me and my ex-wife actually ran a financial firm back in the day. Wow. And uh, yeah, so I always had this, the hair, the button up yeah. shirts, dress shoes. And Pretty now clean. it's like, I sit in sweats. <laughs> I don't leave my damn yeah. house. I'm fat and lazy. <laughs> I have no, a gym no, downstairs. That, that's, 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 hey, no, that, that's the life though. That's life. I, I work at a gym. So, so right. I used to like, you know, I've, I've, been in the the khakis and button down and tie you know get up and now it's like i can just roll i don't roll out of bed to go to the gym but it's like i can wear you know basically athleisure all day yeah. so i'm just extremely comfortable i can wear a hat and it's like oh you can't beat it like just being able to wear something like comfortable and cozy oh it's so good no so it good. really is i mean i i'm not i'm not like saying that is it's a terrible thing but yeah it is oh, it, it's not. awesome that you get you get to do that so oh no I have a fucking package that just came in oh gosh <laughs> it's all right they're probably gonna buzz again and then the dog is gonna go it's all good they can leave no, it at the door. Fine. um fine. but other than that uh yeah man dude i think you're killing excuse me you're not you're not a part of this cu- podcast see my dog's fine gosh gosh <laughs> i'm rude i know How rude yeah you're being rude Stop. My, my, my dog might do something too. My oh. dog howls. I have a beagle, so he howls. So if like someone like rings the doorbell, he'll just start howling. So. Uh, oh, I mean, at least it's not over here. I mean, I wish I we had some proper is. arf arf. So we should get like a a little yeah. voice translator for her. So it goes like arf yeah. arf. The, the knock loose arf yeah. arf. The technology's got to exist somewhere. Dude. Somewhere it's got to exist. Elon Musk was talking about it as well. I think it was, uh, he was talking about somebody... I think he was like firing people at Twitter and like he actually had somebody make an app for like fucking a bunch of money and like actually like put on like Donald Trump's voice and like fired everybody through email with his voice. I don't know what exactly what it was, but it was fucking hilarious when I did see that. TikTok's a dangerous fucking place, man. I I hate it and love it all at the same time. Yeah. Uh, um, But yeah, yeah, dude, you were uh, you were clearing up breakfast and stuff like that. How was your breakfast? What did you have today? It was good. Um, I have the same breakfast every day. I'm I'm a, I'm a man of, of habits. Oh. So I have the same lunch every day. I have the same breakfast every day. Um, I just have oatmeal with peanut butter. Okay. That's it. Um, very simple. Um, I, I don't like cooking. Um, I and more specifically, I, do, I don't like cleaning up. Like mm. I, I find it very annoying to cook for like 30 minutes and then to eat in five minutes and then to clean up for 15 minutes. Bro, time management. Like it ju- <laughs> yeah, it, it just doesn't seem effective. Now, Now the fiance loves cooking, so I'm very fortunate to have someone that loves cooking. I, I definitely do the dishes, so like she'll cook and then I'll clean up and wipe down all the countertops and all that. I, I, I got to give a shout out that. to my, my girlfriend as well because yeah. she does pretty much all the cooking. I'll help and stuff. Yeah. I'll cut up some shit and stuff like that, but she does a lot of if yeah. not all the cooking in here. Yeah. I make some mean wings, but that's the only thing that I really have done lately. But other than that, yeah, I'm kind of the cleanup guy as well. And there's there's yeah. tons of dishes in there. And she's like, you yeah. didn't do anything today? I'm like, I've been working all day. Yeah, you've been sitting, you've been sitting in front of a mic just screaming about metal music for eight hours and you're like, oh, fine, I'll, I'll do the dishes for 15 minutes. All right, fine. Yeah. I know. Honestly, yeah, I don't mind it. It gives me a break and it gives me some time to catch up on some like podcasts and stuff like that. There you go. So there's other creators as well that are doing this. I think Matt and Shell's actually just started one. Uh, uh, what was his name? Hardcore Keem. He's been doing some stuff. Mm. Metal Burb's been doing a lot of podcasts as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it just gives me some time to catch up on that. I was actually listening to one with uh, from Ryan Tuck from Fit for a King, the bass mm-hmm. player. 
he's got a cool podcast going. I don't think he's really posted anything lately, but I think it was just more from COVID and all the lockdown and stuff. And that was kind of his jam. But yeah, I was yeah. listening to the one with Will Ramos in it, and I'm like, this is really cool. There's a lot of stuff that it, actually it's Will Ro- Romos, Ramos, Ramos. Yeah, he actually pronounced it different. It's not Ramos. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't either. I was I'm listening little, to it with my girlfriend. I'm like little from Lorna Shore. Yes, Lorna Shore. Good I'm Lorna. always so afraid to get people's names wrong. Yeah, like because I just feel like it's like like not not offensive, but it's you know it's their name. I just want to get it right, and I'm afraid like because a lot of people say like Beaven for me, like Matt Beaven. Like, okay, no, it's Matt it's Matt Bevan. Bevan. Matt Did Bevan. I say it right? Bevins? Um, yeah, I think, I think, think I did. Added an S. I think you added an S. Oh, there is no S. Yeah, it's Bevin. There is no, there is no S. Doesn't matter. The, okay. I, mean, I mean, there technically is two of you in most of your videos. That's true. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a twin. I have a twin. Yeah. There is also there's a Matt Bevin that's a that's a personal trainer as well. I, I and like I, I feel like I, I need to like try and edge him out. As the, and there's also a Matt Bevin that's that's like a uh, a politician in England as well. Oh, that's like, I, I thought you were just talking about yourself. Verified. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's, he's like verified on Twitter, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like there's so many of us. I didn't didn't realize. Hmm. Interesting, but, yeah. man. Yeah. So where are you from? I think you you're saying you're from California, right? So well, I live in California. I was born in England, so I, oh. I'm, I'm English. Yeah. Um, I lived there until I was six, and then my family moved over. My dad's work moved us over, um, town to Southern California um, back in 2002, That's and cool. then um, I grew up here through you know elementary, middle school, high school. I went to college out in Arizona, um, and then after I graduated, I spent a, uh, about a semester's worth of master's school in Indiana, so in Bloomington. Yeah. Um, hence the mug right here. Oh, nice. And then, and then, um, then we came back, me and the fiance, we came back to California after that. The program wasn't right for me at the time, um, and so we were just like, let's not, you know, kind of waste eighty thousand dollars worth worth of my money to do something i i may might not want to do yeah um and then we came back to southern california so i've been out here ever since then so ma- mainly in southern california yeah i like i like the coast it's nice uh, can't it, beat the weather it sounds nice the only time i've actually been down there was for twitchcon in uh san jose which was a lot okay. it was a lot of fun as well but yeah like as soon as we landed i think we it, it was like in the middle of winter here too so we got there and it was like mm. like 30 degrees uh, yeah, yeah you're you're in, you're in fahrenheit i don't know what that is probably like 95 I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was nice and warm down there. So, and I actually, yeah. uh, my, my aunt or sorry, my cousin actually just recently got married from, uh, married into somebody that lives there as well. So she just recently moved there after COVID. So I was like, nice. sweet, I got some fucking family down there. Well, I would love to go there down go. there again. Um, there well, let me know when you're out here. Oh, is Santa sure. close for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I was like, shit, I, no. I got a chauffeur and everything at the San, airport. San, 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 San Jose is probably like six, seven hours north of me. Okay. Ca- California is huge. Like, yeah, like is. California is massive. Like, you California can, you can, is the size of Canada, literally, I, I think, isn't it? I don't know. It's like a statistic. No. Like a, no? no. Or no, Not maybe. E- I think it's the population. Wise, maybe. Uh, maybe yeah. maybe that's what it is. is not the same size as, as canada it's not Sorry. even close yes it's that's what i meant close. maybe it's population i think yeah. we have like 30 36 million here that would make sense yeah okay yeah all right then yeah. i'm not not too uh, far I'm, I'm 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 so close i'm like like an hour north of los angeles oh um, nice on a good day on a good day um traffic can be heavily dependent on that like it, like I, like all bands will be like oh we're doing like a like a coast to coast tour and i'm like sick and then they're like oh we're going to anaheim and i'm like <laughs> great that's three hours away from me you told me you were coming right right to me but you're not um yeah and it's like on a wednesday and it's like great so i, I work at five in the morning on thursday and so you want me to drive three hours? Like, oh, it's, it's a bit of a pain. Yeah, but, um, that's kind of like us as well. There's another tour that's coming through, and it starts in Ottawa and then goes to Quebec. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? That's five hours no. away. Like, where's okay. Toronto? Like, you started in Ottawa. Where, where's you Toronto? Think would go to Toronto? Yeah, you think they would go to Toronto? I mean, most bands do. I mean, I just saw the new Fit for a King uh, tour that they're going on with like Northland yeah. and Alpha Wolf, yeah. and, they're, and they're in Toronto again. I'm like, yo, Ryan nice. Kirby, I see you, man. I see you. <laughs> I gotta get to that. I saw that because that got announced yesterday, right? I, think. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually really There's, excited about that. What one of the problems that I have is like the 
if you if bands do concerts in Los Angeles, like that's great. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but they'll like go they'll they'll say they're coming to LA and the LA is just so big mm-hmm. that it's like you can be in LA and be like 45 minutes from me. And it's not about me, right? But I'm just using me as a pinpoint. <laughs> it could be like 45 minutes from me. Bro, this whole podcast like is hours. about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, make, I don't make it sound like they're planning the tour around me. Yeah. But, but it's like, if they say LA, that could mean a million different things. So it's like, great, True. you're coming to LA, but like, let me see exactly where it is and what day it's on. Cause if, if they're doing like a Friday night show, it's like, okay, so the traffic's going to be horrific, uh. right? Getting down there. And it's like already, you know, 75 miles away from me. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to be like a three hour commute. And it's, you know, you work all day and then you have to get down and I'm, I'm, I'm being a pain in the butt, right? Like I could just suck it up and do it. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm 27. Like I'm tired at like 8 PM. Yeah. Yeah. We're the know? same way. We actually go to bed pretty early as well, but I'm in oh, bed, like still editing shit. I do some edits on my phone with TikTok. I use cap yeah. cut and just, okay. uh, and, I'll, and I'll actually like put some stuff on email to myself and like edit like three mm. videos at nighttime just to have ready for the Jeez. day. And I'm <laughs> bro, <laughs> workhorse. I'm 33. I think I don't, I don't even remember. I will like fucking him. Yeah, I think I'm 33. Yeah, You're something old. like that. Yeah, I am pretty old. Okay. But I mean, you, I, I, you, you, youthful energy. <sighs> it's the pre workout that I drink all day. The pre workout. I've never done a pre workout. I, I work in fitness. I work in fitness. I go to the gym all the time. I go to the gym five, six days a week. Uh, I've never done pre workout. You probably don't need um, it then. I mean, your body's just so used to that as like an energy source. Yeah. And it sounds like you eat pretty I, I think, clean. Maybe uh, I had two in and out burgers on Monday, but you know, it's all good. Hey, we, um, we love our cheat days. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, th- I think, yeah, a lot of the things like, like pre-workouts and coffees and like caffeine based things is like, once you start, it's hard to stop because mm. you, you get, you kind of get used to it, right? Like that's if me. you have like a coffee every day, you, you, your body just runs off of that. That's how that's, that's normal for you. And then, you know, if you don't have it one day, you're just done. Okay. Right? Okay. And so, you, so then you need to get back on it. You're the fitness guy. I, I would love to lean off of all that shit. I mean, monsters, rock stars. I am yeah. like injected in my veins and it won't do anything. Like that's why I've like pre-workout is my shit. It's basically like yeah. liquid crack. Um, yeah. But even that I'm like two scoops in every day and it's just like, go, 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 oh. go, go. Oh, bro. <laughs> it's you bad. Do scoop it? Do you do the dry no, scoop? No, no, I've never done that before, but I saw like that TikTok trend. They take like a an energy yeah. drink with the dry scoop. I'm like, yeah. you are Fucked. I'm That's like, like asking for a heart attack. It's asking for a heart attack. Yeah, I might have a heart attack before my dog does. She has a heart murmur and stuff. So I was like, ah, oh. it's, one of us is going next. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, I, mean, I mean, in terms of like kicking it though, like, you, I, I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in like leaning off of things. So it's like, like if you have to have like two, like start by just having one mm-hmm. and then you can kind of dial back. Um, but I, I, but I have no personal experience from kicking it because I've never done it. Like I've only recently started drinking coffee, like probably in the past two or three years, really getting back to work post COVID. Right. Um, just kind of getting back in the swing of things and getting back in that like mode to work again. Um, that's really when I started drinking coffee. Ugh, um, I cannot do coffee, but, dude. I hate the no? taste of it. I, I there's I not enough like sugar that. and milk to, to, to dilute that shit. I used to be like that. One of my coworkers, she doesn't work with us anymore, but she was like, eventually you're going to start drinking coffee. I was like, no, <laughs> like, it's just not going to happen. Cause I'm a big tea person. Cause I'm English. So I love just like an English breakfast tea. She's like, she's like, no, like you'll, you'll be drinking it. I'm like, mm, probably not. And you know, it, it eventually caught up to me and she was definitely right. But, but again, I, I have to be at work at five in the morning sometimes. Yeah. So sometimes it's like, you just have to, just get whatever you can to, to, to turn on, you know, in the morning. Yeah. I mean, um, teas are pretty good. So. I usually, I, I mean, I haven't done it in a while. I've been uh, like over the last couple of summers, I have been a little bit more mentally into things. Uh, the teas, uh, I've actually done uh, some microdosing as well with uh, psilocybin mm. just for like the whole depression thing and stuff like that. And it helped a yeah. lot. And I, I kid you not. It, I mean, it, this isn't a, a gateway to say, Hey kids do some shrooms, but I've never tripped out on it or anything. Oh, that's a full disclosure, hundred percent. And uh, it's just helped so much. Just get over a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. So yeah. like the, the, the nighttime tea was like my jam. I call it dirt mm. water because just, <laughs> I don't know why me and my girlfriend, she's like, Oh, you're drinking your dirt water again. I'm like, yeah, yeah it, it helps me. Have, sleep you, have, you watched, have you watched Ted Lasso? No, a show on Apple TV. Um, they they call it's like a about a, like an English soccer team, um, and uh, they call tea pigeon pigeon water pigeon sweat pigeon sweat I think. Um, and so now the fiance because the fiance hates like English breakfast tea, but I love it. So sh- so like I'll offer her some pigeon sweat. Pigeon um, sweat. Sh- English, never, English breakfast. It smells like Fruit Loops. 
right? Is that what? what? It doesn't. Is that English <laughs> I breakfast? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe that's the Canadian Maybe version of English breakfast. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I can ask all my English family and say, hey, does this smell? Well, they probably won't know what Froot Loops are. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, Froot uh, Loops. English breakfast? I don't think it smells like Froot Loops. Because uh, it's not fruity. I know it's not fruity, but it smells like Froot Loops. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be honest. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, no You've worries. Lost me. It's too much sugar yeah, in that cereal yes, anyway. The tea, the tea is good. And a lot of people don't like, um, like teas and stuff like that. But yeah. I, I love teas. But, but American teas are too sweet. Like every tea, like it's just pumped with sugar. Oh, so I don't really? Have any sugar in my tea? See, we yeah. usually. Like, if, you to, if you go to Starbucks, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't like going there. For one, it's too expensive. I mean, their vanilla fraps are really good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I go for the strawberry because yeah. I'm cool like that. But fair. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, yeah, coffee, French vanilla, I can't do it, man. No. No, it's just. I don't know. But yeah, so, so you're a fitness guy. Are you doing this full time? Like, uh, are you a full time fitness guy or are well, you doing I, TikTok I manage now? a gym. Oh, no, no. So, so I, so I manage a gym. I don't have like a personal training cert or anything like that. So I can't give you any qualified fitness advice. I can give you all my personal, my personal recommendations, but, um, I, so I manage the gym. So I manage from sales side. I manage like the coaching team and all that just oh, to that's operationally cool. and things like that. Um, no, t- 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 social media is not like, uh, feasible for a full-time job. I-, I would love it for one day for it to be. Um, but just right now, there's no way, um, really? especially, especially living in like Southern California, yeah. you know, like rent is very expensive. I think we've um, talked and, about that before. Yeah. It, it's, it's nuts. And I, I, I was watching, um, one of your podcasts, I think it was with full metal Jesse. Oh, when you sweet. were talking about, um, like, like Canadian content creators not getting paid. I think you were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, like I'm, I'm very fortunate to, to get paid right. through, through through like ad revenue and things like that, and it still doesn't even come close to, to what I would need to to sustain a social media full time. Like I would have to kind of dip into something else. And I've had that conversation with my fiance. It's like t- for me to go to social media full time, I would have to like go on a whole new venture, like to like f- like like you do, like like f- fully operate like a, a merch store, like a clothing line, or uh, like fully I, go into something like that. But honestly, I don't. I think and take this with a grain of salt. I mean, mm. I think you should get back into the YouTube game. I don't know if you've been paying mm. attention to seeing what's going on with YouTube, but they are going to be monetizing shorts. Oh, so I don't okay. know if you knew that or not, but I would literally get your fucking your YouTube right now to a thousand subscribers. You're pretty close. I think you're at like 700 or so. So everybody watching right now, go subscribe to this guy. It's in the yeah. it's in the description below on Spotify it, and in or and uh, what are we doing this uh, YouTube? And uh, yeah, get to that thousand, and then you need uh, I think it was like four thousand watch hours as well okay. and then you get uh, monetization but then they just Ooh. added something as well for uh monet like if you're going to do short content which is basically mm-hmm. right up your alley yeah and the shit that you put out goes off the fucking rails i mean you could literally it, uh, what is it i think it's in 90 days you need like 10 million views mm. with shorts content if you were just going to put out shorts content like yeah. that but okay. i'm already partnered with it with three different channels yeah. so i'm like I'm, I'll, sure. I'll get that but yeah. Yeah. If you ever wanted to get into that, I mean, that, that is definitely an opportunity. I mean, the merch stuff, I think you yeah. could definitely do as well. But yeah, it's something to look into. Yeah. 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 I no, thank you for that input. Yeah. No, I, yeah. That's what kind of what I'm talking about, right? Like, it's got to be something new. Like, yeah. I've got to branch out on something, whatever that is. That could be YouTube. It could be merch. It could be Twitch. I don't, I don't know. But, but so many of the, like, the, the YouTube shorts would, would not take up a bunch of my time mm. because you can you know, literally I'm, repost shit the, on there right now. It. <laughs> um, but it's like, you know, if I wanted to do like YouTube, like I don't have the time I, or, or at least like I, I, I do the time, but I'll be sacrificing things in my life that I already like. You know, it's mm. like I like my full time job. Like I, I, I don't want to leave my full time job but unless this would be sustaining me, you know, full time. Right. Um, you know, I like spending time with my fiance. I like walking my dog in the morning. Yeah. I like going to the gym. It's, it's like I would have to sacrifice something um, to do that right now. So it's like. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting conversation for me because it's like I would love to do it, but at the same time, I don't want to sacrifice things in my life that I like. Hundred um, percent. I've don't got think a wedding should. coming up, you know, so it's like I gotta save money for that, and it's like I can't, you know, risk that not, you know, be being being a great day for us because I've been a little bit selfish and trying to pursue something that you know um, may may not work out in the long run. So yeah, it's 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 
I'm, I'm at a crossroads where it's like, at <laughs> are some you talking point, about, go. are you talking about YouTube or your marriage? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Work out no, in the long run. Look, get it. <laughs> I, I love my fiance. She's the best. I know. I'm just playing, for, man. <laughs> we've been together for like seven years. We've been together a long time. Good for you, um, dude. We've gone, we've gone through a lot of stuff because we, we met in, um, like undergrad college, um, and then we, we lived there together in Arizona. Then we lived, then we moved, we drove cross country to Arizona wow. and back to California. And we went, went through that whole, you know, element of our life. And then now we've been here for a while and we've, you know, we've been, she's been like laid off and got new jobs and I've bounced around and it's like, you know, it pursued this. It's like we've gone through so much together that like, yeah. you know, we, we're, we're excited for the future, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we got to make sure this day, you know, is good for us with the, with the marriage. And, um, because you know, we, we, we want to celebrate it properly, you know? Um, um, Definitely, it's gonna be good. But dude, yeah. I'm so happy for you, and that that, that you yeah. have somebody like that. I mean, I, I've I've done that stuff and stuff as well, and I'm just glad you guys have gone through some stuff to actually like you know work through the tough shit because you know that yeah. shit's gonna be really good. That's why I'm very happy with my girlfriend now. We've been together yeah. for over three years now, and it's like mm-hmm. we've been through quite a bit of shit. Like I've yeah. sold my my old house, moved in with her house. I moved from the country to the city, and this and that, mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, other things as well. I know a lot of people probably don't know this as well but like uh in my my past marriage i had a vasectomy done and then i got a reversal and everything and oh. you know we're working on that kind of stuff as well so like we're if the housing market right now is just i feel like it's just that stopping point right now for everybody yeah. in in this place but uh yeah we're yeah. looking for that house and looking for those definitely uh those next steps and stuff i love my girlfriend so much and i and yeah. she's a big part of this uh youtube uh i guess business really uh, it, it kind of yeah. landed into so it, it's i i can't do anything without her she's so i, I oh, know exactly yeah. what you mean man when you go through some stuff like that it's crazy 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 yeah. crazy awesome so very happy yeah. for you and if she watches this yeah. i was definitely joking i'm joking you guys are definitely gonna last a lifetime <laughs> she, she she will she will watch this she's gonna she's gonna hate you after no (laughs) no my girlfriend my hate she's like why'd you say that (laughs) no well no because well my 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 fiance Jaden, she she's she's so incredibly supportive yeah like everything that i do and sometimes i'll joke being like can you help me film this and she's like and it's like i'm asking her like i'm literally like asking her to go outside like in the dark like it's like freezing cold and like film me like running like like, embarrassing like run somewhere like across the street and she's like railing like i have to do this right now but she's so incredibly supportive and yeah it's like so many of my videos that have like done really well i couldn't have like literally done without her but like at the same time like she's helped me like formulate ideas like i'll say something and she'd be like yeah so so that doesn't make sense like what you're saying to, to someone that like understands like your content a little bit like it doesn't make sense so if you want it to make more sense like you have to do this i'm like oh i didn't really think about it so she provides you not only like the camera work but also like idea input and i bounce ideas off of her and she'll tell me like that's not funny She'd be like, yeah, no, that's not going to land. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, sounds that, good. Go back to the That's good. Board. Yeah, I'm glad she yeah. actually like tells you straight up and honest. And I think yeah. we're both the yeah. same way as well with me and my girlfriend. And there's stuff that like she says and like, I, I you know, it kind of goes over my head. I'm like, yeah, that's a cool idea. And I never do it. But then I come back yeah. to him like, oh, fuck, this was a great idea. She's like, yeah, I told yeah. you that fucking six months ago. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. Oh, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so, to, so important to have, you know, someone like that kind of supporting you through through these things Hell um, because yeah. social media it, it can be like you know a, a lonely place sometimes at the same time it's like you know although like you're putting across like a you know especially uh on the on the youtube space like you might be sitting in, in an office you know recording a video then editing it for hours and it's like people from the perception is you're talking to thousands of people online but in reality you're sitting in by yourself in an office in front of a camera speaking to yourself effectively. And it's, you know, it can kind of come across, you know, as, as you're speaking to a million people, but really you're not um, in reality. So having someone like that, that can just like understand that is so valuable. Oh, a hundred percent. I think you definitely need that in the in this world of content creation. Um, I, I, I don't know how else to put it. I, I think like if you don't have that support system, it can tear you down. Like if you're not on the same page and that's the thing, my girlfriend was not in this world at all. I mean, she listens to metal and stuff like that. that's kind of how we we met on Plenty of Fish Sar with like you know, architects wage war and stuff in her profile. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, ah, oh, she lives an hour away and she doesn't drive shit. So I, I made that <laughs> truck back and forth. Yeah. yeah. And I saw her like at least like uh, three times a week in that. And I had yeah. my own business at the same time too. I ran my own window tinting business. So like it was, mm-hmm. it was really fun and stuff. And then, yeah, I finally got into this, but like, 
she was, uh, you know, a little skeptical at first, you know, you know, you're just dancing around on fucking YouTube and stuff. And then once stuff started picking up, she got a little bit more comfortable with it and the ideas. Honestly, the whole bleth thing, that's my girlfriend's idea. Mm. And like wow. it just took off. Like she does now. She does all the design stuff. She takes care of our merch store, uh, like oh. our Twitch streams and everything as well. She's managing all the songs that everybody asks for requests. Uh, she manages uh, a lot of different things as well. On top of that, so it's just it's incredible. And I could not yeah. do it, this. Wouldn't be exactly what it is without her. So, That's so the awesome. support is definitely key in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, like if you were to do this full time, and I came up to you on on uh, like up to the street, you know, or friends, or whatever, like you know, how how would you explain to yourself or to others that this is what you do for full time? Like, yes, I'm a full time content creator. Or like, yes, I'm like this metal guy that's on TikTok. Like, I, if I came up to you yeah. and say, hey, what do you do for a living? If you were full time, what would you tell me? Um, well, I, I, I like make small jokes all the time. So if someone like came up to me, I would just probably say I make silly metal videos online and just <laughs> just leave it like that and let them just formulate their opinion from there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably what I would say. And then and then the conversation could go wherever they want to take it. Sure. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I think I think nowadays more and more people are understanding that social media can be a job, mm. um, you know, and that it, it all on all facets of life. Like you have people that um, work for companies, but all they do is manage the social media. Right. Like, you yeah. see, like, you know, I don't know if you're like uh, venture too too far outside of like the metal space on social media, but like a great example is like du- Duolingo. Um, like it's like an app for like people that speak like or want to learn other languages. Oh yeah, yeah. I think Tank the Tank off. is doing that. Yeah, maybe I have no. Yeah, I have no idea. It, I've I've tried. I, I used it actually when I went to Peru for like six weeks, and it was actually okay. kind of helpful. But um, their social media pops off, and it's hilarious. But it's like you have someone that works for just a normal company that they just do social media full time for that company. This is this is no different other than the fact that we are ourselves. Like mm. we're just representing ourselves. So social media can absolutely be a full time job. And I think a lot more people are, are understanding that. Um, but yeah, I would just say that. Like I just make silly metal videos online and that, see where it, see where it goes. I kind of the same way. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I joke around too. I'm like, uh, I'm like, I don't know how else to say this. I'm like, I, I at first I kind of say like I'm a YouTuber, I guess. But sometimes yeah. I'll be like, uh, I listen to music for a living. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's literally yeah. what I do. <laughs> well, I, th- I think for you that that that's true. Yeah, like, you know, you 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 listen and you know maybe maybe you review like because you know i think i think you technically like a you need to actually like review things to review like react i don't know if reactions counts as reviewing but like you know it's like you you listen to music and you you react to it for a living i mean i don't think that's abnormal to say <laughs> no um, w- when when i look when i look at me and it's like i don't necessarily do reactions as much i'm um, you know definitely not on youtube now but um like i just make like i get formulate stupid ideas in my brain like i pace around my apartment i think how could this be funny what could i say like what 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 kind of cut can i make to make this funny so it's like i just make stupid videos Mm -hmm. and i'm that's not belittling belittling my videos or like you know saying like they're just pointless but it's like it's like 15 seconds like memed clips yeah i was gonna say you're basically like memeing metal music kind of thing yeah a little bit um, in the best way, some in people the think very it's very best. A lot of way. people think it's cringe. A lot of people think it's cringe. I get I get the comments from like, oh, this is hilarious. To oh, this guy is the cringiest guy I've ever met in my entire life. Bro, um, it's all good. I, I don't like like I'm at a point in my life like we're, like we're talking about. I have a I have a fiance that's so supportive and and I love her and she loves me. Yeah. I have a dog that's amazing. I have family that's supportive of what I do. It's like comments like that. It's like whatever. <laughs> like you can think whatever you want, but I live a very happy life. And, you, and if I took social media out of it, I'd still have a happy life. Hell yeah. Um, so it's like whatever like you can say whatever you want but um it doesn't kind of not gonna change what i do do you feel um, like there's but, a, a yeah. difference between like instagram and tiktok in terms terms of like negativity positive and stuff like that um i i used to think so um i i at, at first i think i got more hate comments I'll hate comments. And by, by the way, like I don't get very many hate comments and if they are hateful, they're just calling me cringe. Like I know some people have it yeah. way worse than me for a variety of different reasons. So I'm very lucky to have the support I have. Yeah. But if you I listen to Jesse's thing, yeah. she got like some weird yeah. fucking shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, the worst I get is like this guy's cringy. Yeah. Or or or, I, or, the, or typically they're like attacking the music. Like they're saying like, oh, like deathcore sucks. And I'm like, okay, so you're not attacking me. You're attacking my music taste, sure, but it's you know whatever. Yeah. Instagram uh, put this in your feed for a by accident type deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You're like sure. Okay. Um, but I, I used to think Instagram was worse um, in terms of getting hate comments. I thought that's flipped for me now. My, uh, my, I'm very lucky with my Instagram that I have so many people that support me and like you know I, I see people like the same people sharing my videos like every day and i'm like wow that's, like, that's cool. nuts see that's I, nuts i'm kind of getting that now and just over yeah. the last like couple of weeks like i've been blowing up a little bit more on instagram and, yeah. it, and it's been like holy shit like I've, i'm over here on tiktok with like over two hundred thousand followers yeah. ticked er, and an instagram like last week it was like maybe six thousand followers i had on mm-hmm. there and i grinded for those still consistent yeah. and then one day it just yeah. went and then now yeah. I'm up to like 31, 32,000. I'm like, holy shit. And yeah, people awesome. sharing everything. And it's like, yeah. whoa. But that's where yeah. I started finding the cringe a lot. Like the cringe comments, the, you know, yeah. you what do you know about metal and stuff like that, which I think is hilarious. And it's like, I yeah. get it. There's not a lot of this kind of content feeding yeah. through feeds. So yeah, it's it's weird, man. But yeah. I'm glad you don't get that stuff. I feel like it can be no. uh, very hard for people. So in, in on that topic, like, if there are people out there that are doing, uh, you know, content out there, what kind of advice yeah. would you give somebody to help get over those kind of comments or, you know, maybe yeah. fears and stuff like that of getting that stuff? Yeah, I, I think um, I think you touched a little bit on this with Fumel Jesse is that like if all they want is a reaction. So all they want is for you to get like agitated mm-hmm. and, and respond back to them so that they can get that satisfaction. I had this guy. Um, I hope he watches this because it'd be funny. Um, <laughs> but he was like making like full posts about me, like not like not like comments, not like stories, but like making posts, oh. like screenshotting my videos, and like calling me out to try and like fight me, <laughs> like I was like, like physically <laughs> fight. You. He's, he's like, he's like come, come down to Texas, let's let's fight. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, who is this guy? Um, and he kept doing every video, every video. He was like, come and fight me, you you you. Bitch, <laughs> like, worse than that. that's and all I you got. Like, oh. I was like, I was like, what is this guy's deal? Like, why does he hate me so much? Um, but but the, and I, the mistake I made was like, was I bit into it at first. <sighs> I was like, I, I, I wanted, I wanted to like try and like you know make my point, <clears throat> but he he that's all this guy wanted was to get that you know that that reaction from me. So so the the best advice I have is just to not respond to them and if you feel the need to respond to them like scroll like one comment down respond to the person's comment that says that it's a positive one saying like oh like you don't know what you're talking about from you you know like like the the person that gives you you probably get you know i mean i I don't know maybe it depends on the creator but you know you probably get more positive reactions and negative reactions it's just it's the same with like yelp and stuff it's like if you go on yelp the people that are talking sometimes are the are the people that have negative things like so many people probably right. love what you do and like your content and share your content but you might not see it you see the negative ones so try and find the positive ones and, and respond to those um, all they want is a reaction all all these people want is is attention and a reaction um and if you just don't give them that they'll get lost and maybe go somewhere else <laughs> yeah, they'll bug um, someone else like orion yeah, reacts and, <laughs> yeah well no 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 they would never do that to you um but, but yeah you just don't just don't respond to them um, cause that's all they want. That's, that's literally all they want is, is to, to hear you get rustled. See, by I, their I, I've, I've been into one. I remember this one story that I have, uh, somebody commented about some band saying like, this is shit, blah, blah, blah. But the yeah. black was good. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like full blown discussion with this guy saying like, you yeah. know, you're just a shitty content creator. And then like, I had a conversation with this guy in the comments. Yeah. And after that, I was making some, uh, what was it? Uh, some other, was it other guys? No. Uh, it's got Will Ferrell in it. It's a, one of those movies. And it was just like, mm. Uh, Step Brothers. And I'm like, did we just oh, become yeah. best friends? Like after our like conversation of like yeah. negotiating what kind of content yeah. creator was, and he's like, yeah, I guess so. He's like, you're pretty cool. I was like, yeah. all right, yeah. I'll see you in the next video then. Like, okay, <laughs> I know you're like, great, sure. Um, no, pe- people, people just want that, like, like attention. Yeah. Um, so just don't give it to them. All right. Um, and it's that's and by the way that that's so much easier said than done. It is. Like it, it, it took me a long time to get over like that. Of, of just trying to just prove a point 
or to be like, no, like screw you. It's like, it's just not worth it. Um, it's not worth it in the long run. You might as well talk to the people that bring you up, um, and, yes. and, and like your content. Um, but yeah, that's so much, it's so easier said than done. Cause it's so easy. Uh, and, and the, like the, the more noise you make, the worse it gets, right? Like if you, if you make a response video, um, on like TikTok, for example, like if you reply to a comment, oh, they're gonna they're gonna feed off of that. Then they're gonna stitch you, and then you're gonna stitch them back, and then you're gonna be duetting, and then you're gonna be in a live stream together. And it's like, what's the point? Um, yeah, I've, I've seen, seen Ronnie no, Radke do that own. a lot as well. Yeah, and yeah, and, and there's an elements like stand your ground too. Like, and so it's like a double edged sword. It's like, it, and it, I guess it depends like what it is, right? Like if someone's just calling you cringe, it's like that's just not worth my time. It isn't. Um, but if if someone's like calling you out for something that's just like just totally off base um and like making assumptions about you about whatever like maybe there is a time and a place to do that I, i'm very fortunate to have not experienced that that's probably um, a good thing <laughs> yeah, but, yeah it's a great thing and that's what i what i'm talking about like i'm so lucky to have the 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 following that i have because i rarely ever get that good um but um yeah i i think i think for me it's just like don't bite into the to the reaction don't bite into the noise um of negativity because that's all they want um, it's bad man. but it's hard too because like the, the bigger you get the more you're gonna get so it's like like people don't realize that like if you have a video that gets like you know a million views it's like it's not gonna necessarily be all positive like they they the reason why it's blown up is either because people love it or because people hate it um, yeah, and I like, can go both my ways. That, yeah, my, my videos that that have gone viral, that those are the most, you know, the most comments I get um, that are negative, is because it's it's ease it's ease of access. Like everyone's seeing it, so you just get a bunch. Yeah, um, it's like you whatever com- platform you're on, they're they're literally feeding it out to everyone and everyone at that point. Yeah. Like whether they listen to metal yeah. or they scroll by it once, it's like yeah, they're they're getting it, and then they just don't like it. So therefore, yeah. you're just cringe because they've never seen the thing before. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the one of the videos I got the most hate on, I, I made like a video with bad omens, the, the just pretend video, where like I stood I stood on like a like a park bench and just kind of like music video esque kind of yeah video. Um, and oh my god, the the I, I and so this is probably a mistake, and I'll even admit it. Like I ca- <laughs> I called it metalcore. Ah, and I, I, I you I used that phrase to to kind of you know. Y- attracts the viewership I want. Q um, keywords you know, kind like of thing. Metalcore and, death and all that kind of stuff. Um, and just the, the, the genre police mm. <laughs> in the comments were just like, no, this is this and this is that. And it's like, it's like, yeah, you're probably right. Um, but I just got so much heat for it. Um, <sighs> like not knowing what I'm talking about. This guy's a poser, whatever, whatever. And again, that's very service level stuff. Like I can easily just deflect that, but I got a lot on that one. Was um, it what song was it? Was it actually a metalcore song? End. Oh well, yeah, that um, bad omen song. I mean, they yeah, are metalcore-ish. The, but. No, the, the the band. I yeah. It well it depends on the song. They they, they right. used to be very metalcorey. Um, nowadays, um, some of the songs are a little less so, which is fine. Right. Because bands can do whatever the hell they want. I hate when bands say you changed. It's like they can do whatever the hell they want. It's like, exactly. it's like you're 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 not you're not in control of what they want to do. But um, yeah, I got a lot of I got a lot of flack on that one. Yeah, <laughs> I think I, I had one as well. I said like deathcore goes dubstep and they're like bands of I think I left a comment on there too and like just to say like, you know, should we have deathcore or sorry, death step now and blah 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 and they're like death step's already been done, blah blah blah. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh man. I I get yes, it. I, and I do okay. ignore it. And sometimes like I'll troll into it a little bit and be like, yeah. "Oh, you're absolutely right. I should just delete my channel then." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, I see it. I'm I'm banishing myself from the platform. Yeah. I, I'll respond if I have like something funny to say. One of my favorite ones. Ah, here we um, go. Is is this is this guy <laughs> Um, he, I can't remember what video it was, but, um, he, uh, commented something lame about me. And, um, I, cause the thing is, is like, is if they're, if they're going after me, right? Like they're, they're, they're telling me that I'm like dumb or whatever, or like I look stupid or whatever. It's like, I, I'm going to, if I find something funny, I'll go after them. The thing is, is most of the time that, that people say something, they're, they're, uh, private. So they have no content. They have no videos. Yeah. Their, their, their picture is like a 1976 Ford Mustang. And you're like, <laughs> okay, like I have nothing to go off. This person, like it was his, it was him. And um, I, I remember his username because his, his, his name was Matthew, but with one T. Um, and he had like really long, like orange hair. <laughs> this guy's still watching. <laughs> I'm not saying, I don't know his full username. Wait, is it the but same I, guy you were talking about earlier? 
<laughs> oh, no, it's different. Um, and so, and so he like commented something rude. And I just comment back like, "Your parents spelled your name wrong, and your hair is shit." And that's what I said. And like, it, the comment popped off. It was so funny. And, um, he deleted the comment. But it was like, it was like that's all I had to go off. Like, if you're yeah. coming after me, if you're coming after me, you have like you know thousands of videos worth of content to like. You can make fun of my fiance. You can make fun of me. You can make fun of my music taste. You can make fun of my hair, my beard, my whatever. Um, I only like found if, if you, one photo of your hair on Instagram and that, and it was today when I was scrolling through and it, you didn't have a hat on. I'm like, I'm like, holy shit. He does have a little bit of a uh, receding hair. And it, it doesn't look bad. I think you look great. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Dude, my hair is, uh, yeah. is not, it's getting there too. Don't worry. <laughs> no, my, 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 my fiance, like, when we go out on like a nice dinner, she'll tell me you're not wearing a hat today. Um, oh, but oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get back into the hair thing, but it's oh, it's I, uh, I think it was Thanksgiving. I actually didn't wear a hat to our dinner, and uh, my girlfriend's brother came up to me. He's he shook my hand. He's like, "Hey, I'm uh, I'm Leah's brother." I'm like, "Hey, I'm I'm Ryan. I'm the new the new boyfriend." Yeah. He's like, "Why don't you have a fucking like, hat on? Uh, where's your hat?" Yeah, it's yeah. like put your identity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like if you're gonna like yeah, that, that's like one of the ones that I clap back to. So like uh, someone recently like like said like oh metal music isn't a personality he's just holding a fish in his profile picture I'm like dude you're holding a fish and that's all I said <laughs> that's every like, Tinder you know I mean? photo out there <laughs> I was like dude you're just holding a fish yeah like like, uh, like come on dude I almost um, did that this morning I had a little bit of like some hate mail in the DMs and I'm like uh, yeah. he's just like you don't know anything about metal and it's of like a vocalist for a metal band and stuff and like only yeah. had a couple like videos on here I hope yeah. he I blocked him afterwards but I'm like I'm like yo yeah. much love man. Thanks so much for watching. And then I, I took a screenshot. I'm like, man, I got my first hate mail today because it would like literally yeah. was. I never had a DM like yeah. that before. But then I'm like, ah, oh, should I kind of like post the thing afterwards and tag him in it and say like, like, you know, your band shit. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know anything about metal music. I left. Yeah, I left it and blocked it and just like, okay, bye. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever gotten like anything like um like in the DMs. That's that's not nice. Yeah, think. that was the first time and I was like, ah, oh, these like how do you have that yeah. amount of time to like yeah. dedicate that a specific yeah. amount of time just to it's, do it's, all that? It's just keyboard warriors. Keyboard warriors that have nothing better to do and they just vent everything that they have that's negative into comments that just make that just don't need to be there. It's just for all sure. Um, for that's sure. why I just most of the time don't respond to it unless I have like something funny or witty to come back at. Um, <laughs> engaging in like a like a like a negative discussion. It's just no point. Nah, um, it, it, you don't need that. Get that negativity out of your life. Yeah, Give it that gif that bangs over the, all the negativity away. <laughs> we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. All right. Well, let's steer away a little bit away from this kind of talk for a bit. I know you're a big brand of sacrifice fan, and uh, I've been loving it as well. And I think that was another reason why I like dove into your content because I'm like, we were both at the same time when that new album came out, we were like on yeah. top of lifeblood, like, holy shit, this is amazing. Um, yeah. But I know they just uh, obviously released a new song. What did yep. you think of it? I don't think I really got to, to see your reaction or anything to yeah. it. It's a banger. Everything they put out is a banger. Yeah. Everything they put out is a banger. A lot, a lot of people were like saying, oh, like it's like Will Ramos, Ramos. You, you know what? I listened to the breakdown wrong. today when I was like doing a story post about you <laughs> yeah. and I'm listening to it. I'm like, it kind of sounds like the exact same breakdown yeah. as uh, Lifeblood a little bit. Oh, I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Um, just the structure maybe, wise, I, I, just the breakdown I, I, I part. I have to listen to it. I'll have to listen to it. I mean, the, the, the thing is, is like, is like some people love like complexity yes and like and like hear, hearing different sound stuff i just love meaty breakdowns me too that just get me going so so it's like you know it can, it can sound similar and that's not a bad thing no um, I, I, not. I, can't, I can't say i drew the similarity i i think i think the song's a banger i i think the cleans in it are great i um oh, so they cool. they they put out um a while ago, I think the band, I think they named the band like Earth Shatter, I think. Yeah, that was Kyle's um, old band, apparently. Yeah, I, I it, listened like to. Uh, in there. Yeah, I listened to, um, uh, what's his name? Metal Burbs podcast with uh, Kyle Anderson mm -hmm. just recently. He just posted it up. I definitely recommend going listening to it because Kyle has some yeah. cool things to say about that. But yeah, the, the cleans in that is just, I haven't heard yeah. Earth Shatter yet, but mm. oh, I love his cleans. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's him. I, I can't confirm if that's if that's Kyle doing the cleans in the in new Earth song. Shatter. Oh, no, in Earthshatter. No, I'm pretty sure it is. 
Is it? I mean, if it is, yeah. I mean, I mean, that, like, so, and people, people, there's the whole discussion of, of should there be cleans in deathcore? Yeah, that is and, kind and of topic. I, and I am a big fan of good music's good music. Ooh. So if the cleans work, then the cleans work. Yes. If, if the cleans don't work, then the cleans don't work. It's fine. Like, and you can have an, everyone can have an opinion. Um, but I, I like having the cleans. I think, I think Kyle is extremely talented. Yes. Yes. Um, he's my favorite vocalist. Um, like he's just like next level to me. Um, I love his vocals, man. I think yeah. he has such a wicked range. The yeah. just the tones and everything. Yeah. yeah. De- De- if you're looking for a new podcast, to listen to go listen to the one with yeah. uh, with Metal Burb and Kyle because like he just talks about it like his history and this and that and uh, yeah. how he kind of like started singing, which I thought was really neat as well. Like he started with those Melissa Cross videos and like learning how to scream and like mm-hmm. had totally different vocals back then and actually he yeah. i believe he played guitar and then did some backup singing before really? actually doing all this so yeah it's a good listen for sure if you want to know more about brand of sacrifice uh and i think ryan tuck actually has one as well on his podcast i haven't listened to that Ooh. one yet but yeah that's my next one to go to um yeah. but yeah so what do you think they're we're, that we're gonna get on this new album with brand of sacrifice because like um oh I th- I'm going to get a mixture of stuff. I, I, th- yeah. I think he even said like, it's going to be like, you know, it's not going to be the same, like sounding exactly the same. Um, but I, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought I saw that somewhere, maybe like a tweet or, a, or an Instagram or something like that. Um, but I think it's going to be heavy as shit. Um, <laughs> for me, like I love symphonic death core. Yeah. So like anytime you add in like a symphony or like violins or like a choir, that gets me. The going. choir kids are out. <laughs> oh, that, I mean, I mean, yeah, that, get, that gets me going, dude. dude so, so I'm that, hoping we get some more of that. That TikTok that you had with the choir kid thing, that popped off so That's well. That's my favorite video I've ever made. Yeah. It's my favorite video With I've your made. edits and stuff, I'm like, oh my God. When I saw that, I'm like, fuck, I got to step up my game. Yeah, it, that, that's, that's my favorite video <laughs> I've ever made. And, and, and it's not like... It, it's it's because of like how quick it, it came about. Like yeah. I like li- literally listened to the song on the way home, and I was like, "Oh, I've got an idea." <laughs> and I went home, and it was like wa- one take of like both portions of it. No, nice. I'm like, "Oh, this is perfect." And I went to edit it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is it." Like I, I kind of every step along the way, I was like, "Oh, this is this is a good one." You know, like it wasn't like I was like, "Ooh, like how can I make this a bit better?" Like I could redo this. It was one take through throughout the whole thing. And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, this is it. Like, this is gonna go." That's the best kind um, of content. I mean, like I, yeah. I do my reactions and stuff, and I edit towards the whatever I want to kind of do. But that's yeah. like, I mean, that's your one take shot anyway. So yeah. like, when yeah. you have that, dude, I've I've done a couple of your duets and stuff like that. I duetted to your pumpkin thing, and I'm like, yeah. "Oh my god!" I'm like, all these cuts and everything. What do you do? Do you edit on your phone, or do you actually? No. Take Take it to the computer. So I take it to the computer. I, I edit on Premiere Pro. So Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, good, good. Um, I like that program too. So I, I edit on there. Um, and I, on Instagram, I edit the captions in Adobe. Oh. Um, they, they, they used to, um, I used to do captions on, on Instagram, but then they like got buggy and uh. they like wouldn't line up right. Um, so then I, I was like, screw this. Like, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. Cause I, I hate when things don't line up. Right. Like I, I hate that. So, so I was like, I'm just going to put the captions in manually. Um, why, what, what I've found that on TikTok, like there, there's the visual of, um, like people like to see the, the typical content. So, um, like putting the TikTok captions is more appealing on TikTok than putting your own captions. What I, what I found personally, mm. um, in like my skit kind of videos, um, if they're like more like long format, like, like I just posted one with like the, um, Oh, what was the song? It was, a, it was the song's popping up. It's a cat. I think it's catch your breath. I think it's the band. Let me just double check. I want to make sure I get it right. What, what kind but, of um, band is it? It's like a post. Yeah. Catch your breath dial tone. It's oh. like a, maybe like a, um, it's not, I, I wouldn't necessarily call a metal core, but yeah, they, they call themselves alt rock. Okay. Um, I, I would maybe put them in that category, but, um, like that, I, I just did the captions in, in Premiere Pro because I, wa- I wanted a certain effect of like the text like fading out a little bit. Um, but on TikTok, typically, it's like I, what I find is that putting the TikTok captions is more appealing to people on TikTok. So interesting, um, at least from from my experience. So so I'll so I'll like I'll edit it all, put the captions on, and then export that video, and then I'll delete all the captions and export it again. So every video I do, I do I have two of one with captions, and one without captions. One with captions goes on Instagram. The one without captions goes on TikTok. Oh. And I just put the captions on myself after the fact. Oh, that's so much work. <laughs> yeah, but, I thought, but it works. I get. Like, yeah, and, if you and, find that it works, then that's great. Yeah, 
maybe 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 I'm just overthinking it um, with the captions. Oh, I'm I'm the um, same way. I've literally been going yeah. through my content where I'm like, okay, I had you know that Jesse voice thing over at these songs because they all popped off at the beginning because of that you know yeah. that hook at the beginning. Yeah. And then there's other songs where I'm like, I didn't have anything. I'm like, okay, so do I do this and that? But like some of them I do on Premiere. Some of them I'll just use yeah. the TikTok one. And I'm like, ah, oh, so now yeah. you got me thinking about it. I'm like, see the algorithm thing is just it it. Yeah. destroys me i hate yeah. it <laughs> yeah I, I think i think um you have to find what works for you there's not like a a, a cookie cutter way yeah i mean, I mean there, there 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 are cookie cutter ways to getting views that's not necessarily getting a following right, right? but there's cookie cutter ways to getting like a like a, a video that does well um but um yeah with, with, a, with a lot of things it's like i'll, I'll be very nitpicky um and i hate I'm, i drive me nuts if i like i post a video and i like misspell the word Oh, like, I've um, done that before, no, man. It's so oh, bad. And, and you post it, and you're just like, and you, because I, I don't know about how you work, but when I, when I when I post videos, I literally like log off the platform. So so I'll post like a <laughs> like a an Instagram. And this is for my own mental health, honestly. I, I, okay. I post like an Instagram, um, and I then like uh, close out the app once it's posted, and I'll come back in like one or two hours, and I'll respond to comments and stuff. But I I, I get so hyper fixated on like, is a video gonna do well? that that it like affects my mood it's like i'm like oh, oh the video's not taking off oh, the video's not doing well the video's not doing well what do i do what's wrong with this so I, I leave it for a couple hours because at that point it's like it's done like like the video at that point like i'll have a good idea you can, whether you can it's tell gonna, what it's gonna, gonna go do or not. you can tell so i i log off um for a little bit just for my own mental sanity um <laughs> i need to do this <laughs> yeah um but, but the, the, here's the bad part so what's my point oh no it's if i if i misspell something and then I log you off. You don't know. And I don't know. And now I've got a video <laughs> that's maybe it's doing well or, you know, that's like just blatantly misspelled. Um, and then it drives me nuts because I just so desperately want to delete it and re-upload it. But I'm like, but but it's doing well. But apparently so like even it. deleting videos and stuff like that can actually hurt your content. I've heard. Apparently. I know. I, I private them. So so I just I just I make them private just for me. That's that's a good I thing to do. Then, yeah, I, I yeah. probably should start doing that, if anything, because I have one actually. And I caught it on TikTok and it started taking off. I'm like, yeah. fuck, I can't delete this. I can't privatize. Yeah, I so I had to remake it on the computer because I think I had the text on on Adobe or yeah. And then I like posted yeah. it up to Instagram and then it started taking off there. And it was the word mental in uh, mm. I think it was I declare war war. And yeah. uh, it's a metal instead of mental. I'm like, oh, but it went so fast. No one has yeah. noticed. I'm yeah. like, thank cool. God. There you go. <laughs> Not even the band. Everyone, they everyone shared it. The <laughs> everyone go to the video and comment it right now. <laughs> Link in the description. Do you imagine? In the description. Yep. <laughs> Matt Bevan told me. Um, uh, yeah, go to that video and say Matt Bevan. There's, there's a spell. Matt Bevan said there's a spell in the state. Make sure you um, add him too. Yeah. Make sure you spam the yeah. shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So, so that's why I, I, I like log off. Um, Good but, for you. Yeah. It drives me nuts when um, like videos uh, I misspell things and like edits. Like I'm I, like I, I like like cuts for me are very important. Mm. Like, I'm so, I feel like we're going on a bunch of tangents in this podcast. No, so I, I, I kind of figured it was going to go this way. I mean, I have a list of shit, but like, I know we're running on an hour. Here. I don't know how much time you got, but like, this is to me, this is just good conversation with my son. Yeah. It's just like, cause no, that's yeah. what we've talked about. It's like, we sit in this room type deal or an office and we don't, it's very lonely in this world. So like, I don't have a lot of friends. I mean, like I, I, I text metal burb sometimes and a couple content yeah. creators, but like we're so busy and we don't really get back to each other in a timely fashion to actually sit down yeah. and have a conversation. It's, really good yeah. to have so rant yeah. away come like and it might help somebody that's listening i think that's yeah. my like my main goal on all this stuff it's just i'll obviously bring some enjoyment and uh, uh like some content obviously and to help promote yeah. yourself but like i just I, I just think it's really fun doing this stuff and talking to somebody yeah. that actually knows what i'm going through like i can yeah. rant away to my girlfriend she'll be like well I'll get them on the next one babe i'm like but I need yeah. to, I need to rant this out like this motherfucker yeah. called me cringe like <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no I, I I agree you know it, it's it's important to have the conversations about it with, with people that understand um, yeah I agree yeah because my, my my fiance is very supportive but but like yeah like like you're saying like if a video doesn't do well and I, I'm like ranting she's like she 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 she's she's sympathetic and she's like she's like I totally understand yeah and I'm like I'm like I'm I'm like I need more though I need someone to tell me like the what I'm doing wrong and I'm like you know you do get like that um but yeah mm -hmm. so I'm very meticulous to to go back into my rant so it's like with like cuts and stuff yes it's like 
I got to make sure like if I'm, if I'm putting the, the text over it, it's like the, the text cut lines up with the, the video oh. cut. And then if it doesn't by like one millisecond, it drives me nuts. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, it's, it's, it's the video is going to flop because oh. I made a one tiny mistake. Dude, do not um, edit in cap cut then. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh man. Like I you don't. have to drag it. And if, uh, I'm not even going to get into it. There's sometimes oh. in bed where I'm just like, fuck, it just doesn't yeah. line up properly. And the camera shakes aren't yeah. the same. I'm like, uh, I mean, yeah. like it works for what I need it to, but I'm the same way. Yeah. And it has to be on the beat for me. Yeah. My oh, edits. Bro. When that hit, breakdown hits, it has to go. Like I, I use the the arrow key to make sure it's on yeah. the right exact spot. Dude, like when when I see a video, <laughs> and this is a pet peeve. This is yeah. a hate. This is a pet peeve. That that like it doesn't line up. Oh, headbanging like, on, on the beat or or, 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 or something. Like that. Dude, I want to like run my head through a window. Like like it just drives me nuts. Um. <laughs> And that's just a, that's just a me thing. But yeah. I, I, I I grew up like playing playing like in symphonic band. I'm not like any metal instrument, so I, I have like a good understanding of like music theory and like that kind of thing. Oh, so that's like, cool. I can I can I can hear it like I and I can see it like it, like it just doesn't make sense to me when like things aren't on the beats. It's like no, it's just there's just such a natural position for this to be, and and you like did it like a half second early and it drives me nuts. Yeah, I don't know if that's nuts. just like an eight OCD kind of thing or maybe. I don't think uh, I have OCD. No, neither do I. That, maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, I've, I've been, I'm self-diagnosing myself. <laughs> TikTok um, is, is starting to put like, yeah, yeah depression yeah. and OCD. <laughs> oh, God, social media in a nutshell, dude. Um, but uh, yeah, so but the, the, the editing Premiere Pro helps me with all that because yes. it's like I can like line up to the millisecond and like cut things and um, all of that. That helps me out. Um, but yeah no good for you man i mean like i know you do a lot of stuff like uh outside and in your living room and stuff like that but like yeah. is has there anything that you've been like filmed and then you just went too hard and like either broke a vase or something or like <laughs> like yes sm like smash your shin off the table or something yes yes um yeah so i was making a <laughs> video with with a with a bear tooth song oh um and um it was like a heavy riff part and um, we had, we had, we had this, um, we had, <laughs> we had, we had, we had like a big, like, like maybe four foot tall fake plant. It's yeah. fake. Oh, we have like fake a, plants. Like a, Everything on that wall yeah. is fucking fake. Even the tree. Yeah, nothing survives <laughs> in the dark. Um, we had a fake plant and um, I like was using it as like, as like a guitar. And, um, <laughs> I haven't done that yeah, one yet. And, and um, <laughs> Cause it was big, it was pretty big. Yeah, and um, yeah, I was like filming it, and um, yeah, it just snapped. Like it just snapped, and like the the the, the bass like fell apart. And I was like, "Bam, don't don't worry about it. I'm gonna buy a new plant." <laughs> Those things but are the plant, expensive. Uh, the, uh, the, dude, the fake plants are so expensive, bro. I, I was I was like, I'll I'll like, you know, but yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll send you a picture if you want to toss <laughs> yes. it on the, uh, on the on the on the video. I'll send you. I got, you. But, I got, so I got a time I save it. this. What is it, a minute seven? All right. <laughs> I'll send you. I'll send you and find it. But um, yeah, it's a, it's like a freeze frame of me just like realize, like just seeing it snap. It's pretty funny. I'll, if if I can't find it, I'm sorry that I'm surprised you it. haven't like uh, used it as content. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, did um, you? I might not have actually. Oh, there I can't go. remember. This was a long time ago, though. Ah. This, this was this was like definitely over a year ago. That's like the really only thing of broken. Interesting. Um, we we I don't like I don't know. I, I mean I haven't really broken, broken anything. So no, I don't think I've broken anything. I think um no, I don't think so. I mean I'm my mic around, is like, pretty mangled. That's about it. Yeah I've, yeah I've seen that, dude. <laughs> dude, that. these mics. Yeah, if you're looking for something quality, this thing is still running, man. Lasted wow. Well. I'm literally wow. looking for a new mic right now, and yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to get. I, I want better sound and stuff for podcasts and that since I've been mm. doing it more. So yeah, yeah that's crazy. Has there has there anything? Thing, sorry, has there any? Uh, been anything like weird when you've been outside like i know like there's a lot of content creators that'll do stuff in public but like mm -hmm. have you ever felt weird or like you know how do you get over those kind of fears of like doing stuff out in public maybe yeah, that can kind of help absolutely. somebody yeah um i so in 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 on social media i come across as very like extroverted yeah um i'm not i have severe social anxiety in like big groups of people like if you put me in like a party um like a like i would go to like someone's house for like a party and um, there's like a, there's four or more people. I am silent. 
I am in the corner. I'm not saying anything. I'm a social butterfly, man. (laughs) Oh, I'm the exact opposite. So, so when I'm like, like, um, out, out in public, like, (laughs) <laughs> the fiance will get really mad at me because she's filming it. So yeah. she's also part of this now. And um, like, I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait for like people to like leave or like, I'll be like, person's like, if I'm like in a parking lot or something, I'm like, okay, I gotta wait for this person to leave there. They're putting their groceries in the back of their car. Okay, they're done. All right, go, 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 go. I'm like, yeah, the car, go now. Um, so yeah, I, I, absolutely. But what I will say is that um, the ones that I do outdoors, like they always do well. Like the videos, if I do something outdoors, they always do well. I have a couple ideas that I want to do outdoors as well. Um, but they always, yeah. It, but you just got to like get over it. And, and sometimes it's like, you just got to deal with it. Like, and also people don't care. They don't. Like, 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 they, like the, I always think that they do. And this is true for social media. This is true for, for like a lot of situations, especially as you get older. People don't care. Mm-hmm. Like, like they'll be like, that guy's, why is that guy like moshing in the street? Whatever. And then they just go along with their day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're never going to see that person again anyway. No, no. <laughs> so it's like, who cares? Um, I've definitely like done some, I did a video for a Beartooth song as well, where I like mosh on the side of the street, um, like at a busy intersection. Too. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought the video was going to do better, but it didn't. It wasn't worth the embarrassment. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> I, I actually but, um, have one of those that I recently did on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the, the outdoor stuff. Um, it's fun though. Like what, a video that I did that did really well outdoors was the King for the De- King for a Day one, where it's like what you think you sound like singing in the car versus what you actually sound yeah. like singing in the car. Um, like that wasn't. I was in a parking lot, but you can bet your ass that was no one in that parking lot <laughs> i went to like the end of the parking lot and yeah. i was like and then if someone like walks by i'm like hey babe we're just gonna hold on for a second like, she 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 she's the one like the vulnerable position she's standing like like outside of the car just like <laughs> like, like, like a tiktoker I'm, like, I'm, I'm just like waiting and i'm like just wait 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 this person's walking by hold on oh god this dog walker okay we just gotta wait for him to go by um <laughs> but they always they always do well though so it's always worth it in the end um and like, it's just like a good change of scenery. Like, yeah. like, you know, like you could do the same video in your apartment for me, at least I have an apartment. You could do your video in, in the apartment or I could do the same video outside. And it's like, people will just gravitate to it more because maybe the, the natural light's better, or maybe That's it's fun. just more colorful because you've got trees and blue sky and whatever. Um, it's just it, it, more appealing. Um, so sometimes it's good to just change it up. Um, but yeah, yeah, I definitely get embarrassed and I definitely, um, I have to wait for people to like walk by. I feel like it's easier um, to do it with people too. I mean, like, I don't know if you've ever yeah. done it really by yourself and stuff like that. And I've tried to do some stuff. I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, scrap the video. But like, if I have my girlfriend out, like we, we did the one where Chris motionless had like the pumpkin and then he put the pumpkin on his head and, yes. and I duetted that and I had to duet yeah. it on the phone and everything too, to actually get that tag and duet yeah. and that. Yeah. So like we're going out, I, you know, I'm filming everything, did everything inside. I'm like, I put on this fucking yeah. suit and then I'm like, we're going outside with a big, pumpkin <laughs> that I'm going to yeah. put on my head and walk in the middle of the street. She's out in pajamas as well. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, right. we look fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I'm like, are you okay, babe? Are you, like, we're going to do this, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're waiting for like certain cars to come through and like, yeah. just make sure it looks busy. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassment, oh, yeah. man. Oh my oh. God. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've never had like someone like, like say anything to me. No, like, not, like, not at all. Being, and that's what I'm saying. Like no one cares. No. Like, no one cares. And so my advice would just to be to just keep telling yourself that no one cares because they don't No. Um, and think about it this way too. If you want, if, if you're trying to be a content creator and someone films you doing something like that outside and their video goes viral, guess what's going to happen? You're they're going to go to your account <laughs> and they're going to go and find that video and you're going to get all the views. You're going to get so many. <laughs> so it's like, even if like I, I would welcome it and that's not saying if anyone knows remotely where I live, don't come and try and find me filming outside. But like if someone were to like film a video, <clears throat> of me like like moshing on a on a on a street then go for it and post it just tag me yeah just just, just tag me and um direct them to my video because that will help me out yeah exactly. it is hard though so i'm 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 very like introverted in groups so so sometimes it can be difficult but i feel um, like that even going out in public though like i mean i feel like i'm in a very busy remote place as well but like mm -hmm. 
I've never had anybody come up to me and say like, oh, you're oh. you're Orion and stuff like that. Yeah, oh. in, in that aspect. But I, the only thing I've had was like people ask me like, what does blech mean? Yeah, <laughs> you're like, it's an acronym. <laughs> you just make up something. Oh man, I stall. I like I get shaken from. I'm like, uh, uh, uh I don't yeah. know how to answer this. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, because it because it, it makes no sense. Yeah, to, you're to you're an 80 year old fucking person. <laughs> how do I yeah, explain yeah, this yeah, to you? Like, uh, <laughs> you're not gonna like the answer. Yeah, um, yeah I, I just. I've, in his face <laughs> yeah exactly i i've been it, i've been recognized once like in a natural setting that's cool um, when, I was, when, I was, when i was like working out myself like at the gym like not where i work but i had a different gym someone yeah. said something um but i've been recognized at work um like people have like come up to me and been like do you make videos online <laughs> about metal music and I'm like, yeah and then my coworkers are like the hell's going on like right now um <laughs> <laughs> so that's happened a couple times. That's cool. But, um, I've all, see, I don't go to a lot of shows because I'm just so busy. That's where um, I get it, if anything. Yeah, I went. I went to a show, um, a Brandon Sacrifice show. Um, oh. the, it was the um, back from the the Gulag tour with like After the Burial and them and um, The Artist Murder. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I was supposed to go to that show out here. As well. Oh, what a what a lineup! I know. Um, yeah, that was a good one. Um, but yeah, I was I went with a buddy and. Um, I told him, I'm like, yeah, it's probably a chance. Like I recognize. And like, he started counting. He's like, he's like, bro, like people like, like are like whispering, like that's the guy from TikTok. I was, like, I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? I, I, this, I was, I was, I was, the good story is I was, I was standing just like watching, watching the show. And, um, uh, oh, where am I? I was standing watching the show and, um, they stopped the show because someone was hurt in, in the, in the mosh pit and like all the big floodlights go on and, <laughs> you know everything stops hopefully they're okay this guy, taps me, yeah, this guy taps me on the shoulder and he goes he's like hey man this is a horrible time because that person's getting like carted out by like an emt but can i get a picture i'm like well, dude, what's going on so i never if you're watching whoever that is um can you like tag that picture because like i'm hopeful that like you can see like a guy like a like a like getting carted out like behind uh. us like with like emt people and it's just me and him just going like yeah. like it'd be so funny if you have that if you have that picture Oh, the, guy, the guy I think is fine. I, I think the guy's fine. Not that, not that I have any idea. That's but, really um, funny. Yeah, but, but so really sucks like for the guy in the pit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Like uh, I, he, I, I remember, like he was, he was, he was okay. He was like knocked out yeah. cold. But um, yeah, that that would be a, if you have that picture, that'd be pretty funny. That's cool. Um, That's really cool. I, I, um, that was like me with uh, Rody from Process of Hero because he did a bluff for me. He called me out when he's on stage. He's like, "This was for oh, Orion," nice. and he bluff. I'm like, "Fuck! I wasn't recording this." I'm like you gotta tell me that, bro. Yeah. Like that's like a million views, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That was like with Polaris as well. Like Jamie shouted me out and everything during that show, yeah. and he's like, "This was for my boy Orion." <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, and I started. I was recording at that time, and I booed myself. <laughs> you booed yourself? Yeah. I'm like, wow, fuck that guy. Like that guy sucks. Everyone's like, yeah. You're like, wait a minute, I was joking. Oh uh, fuck. But it is cool that's when funny. you go to concerts and stuff like that. I've been finding. I mean, yeah. I haven't really gone to many of them. Um, the protest of hero one, there was a few people, but like the Polaris one, I think there, there was quite a few and I, and yeah. I got, it was right after COVID too. So I was like, so excited. I'm like, this is yeah. cool. I'm like, it doesn't happen when you're in a grocery store, yeah. but like when you do this metal music stuff and reactions and reviews and yeah. like people know who you are and the next thing you know, they're like, Oh yeah. Are you that TikTok guy or the, the guy yeah. that does reactions? And you start yeah. having a conversation and, and it's kind of embarrassing, but like, I got so excited for the fans. Like I've never had this before. So I'm like, yeah. and I started started asking these people for photo. I'm like, can I get a photo yeah. with you? Like, this is so cool. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I look back yeah. at it now. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I, I don't think so. Cause, 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 cause here's the thing. It's like, it's not a, like for, for, for us, it's like uncommon. it's, it's, it wasn't common, but, but it's, it's, it's not about like the, the popularity. It's about the fact that like you're, you're impacting these people's lives somehow. Like, like yeah. when people come up to you, it's, it's not like they're like, Oh, you're this person going to get a pick and they walk away. It's like, Oh, like, they start asking you questions and they want to like just have a conversation with you and that's the cool bit it's not the fact that someone wants a picture it's the fact that like they care enough about that and they might have a story for you like i was watching the video and and, and it's like it's like that's the the part that's awesome it's It's not it's not the 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 notoriety part of it it's it's the fact that you're like able to to help people or or make their morning better or whatever it is like that's the cool bit um at least, you know, for, for a lot of a small, smaller creators, you know, like where it's, 
it, especially for me, it's like, it's not my job. Like I, I could drop it and it, you know, yeah. it wouldn't make a, a ton of difference in my life, but for some people it would be like, what, you know, like, like that, that's what kept me going through this period or whatever it is. So it's yeah. cool. It, it's, it's very cool to have those conversations with people because Dude, it, it, it puts things in perspective a little bit. I, I, I get so shooken by it sometimes. Like it, it just, it feels weird and like exciting and all this all at the same time where like someone's basically saying like, you know, like I'm not okay. You know, I'm so depressed, yeah. but your, your videos have just helped me through so much fucking yeah. shit and and I get like so wowed about it. And I'm like, bro, no. like I, I just throw my fists in the air and jam hot right. dogs in my mouth just for entertainment, basically. <laughs> like, I, I yeah, yeah, I'm reacting to the song and, and you know, I, I might be a little overreacting at times, but like, this is how I, my personality is anyway. You yeah. can tell just by the live views and this and that. But like when they say this stuff, it just it blows my mind. And I'm just so yeah. grateful that I could be that and like just be being helpful in towards someone's life. I think it's just the most uh, thing that I've really gotten out of this thing. If I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably the same thing for yourself. Yeah. I, I was yeah, going to ask that, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's the rewarding part, um, that, that you, you can impact people's lives in such a, in a positive way by, by just being you and being yeah. just silly. Like, it's, like for me, it's like, I literally do some just stupid things and like 15 second videos and, and it's like, I have people that message me and they're like, like the, you, you, these videos, like they, they make me not feel alone that someone else yeah. feels the same way. Like, you know, like they, they go to work and, and they're like, they're not them true selves and they go in the car and they're headbanging. And it's like, well, that's like, I didn't, I thought that was just me. Like, I thought I was like alone in this world where it's like, no one's like me and, and I feel isolated or whatever. Yeah. And then they watch the videos and they see, you know, hundreds of comments being like, that's me too. And they're like, whoa, like, okay. Like it's not, I'm not like alone in this. And that's what people um, got to understand as well. It's like, yeah. uh, there's a lot of people out there that like, you know, you and your spouse or whoever you're with, if you're even with anybody, like you all yeah. listen to different music as well. Like I, I've had many girlfriends before where it's like, they listen to totally different music. So it's like, I didn't yeah. have that, you know, head banging moment with with stuff like that. So like when yeah. you're you're in that state and you can do that with somebody online and have that communication, you know, talk to them in the comments, which I think is just so key. It's just cool to see yeah. like even though people might say that you're cringe and like who the fuck reacts to, you know, music or why are you reacting to someone else's thing and it's like Dude, there are so many people out there that just say like, yo, I had the same facial expression. I I, yeah. I flipped out too. Yo, my room is destroyed after that. And it's just like the connectivity yeah. on that. And just, uh, it just feels yeah. so good doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, the metal community itself too is, is very like community based. I feel like it's gotten right? better like, too, in a yeah. way. Yeah, I, I think I think people, um, oh, well, how, how do I put this? Like, metal metal listeners are so passionate about it mm. that like it's so deep to their heart right i th i th and you know i don't i don't want to necessarily say that's not the same for like pop music or, or something like that like mainstream music but metal music it's because it's not popular like yeah. in, in the mainstream so you just hold it so close to you so so you hold those other people close to you as well just naturally whether you realize it or not um there are some gate gatekeepers out there they can get lost <laughs> but but you know but, for the most part, it's like people just want to share their enthusiasm for it. Yeah. And, uh, that's what everyone wants to do. So when everyone can get together, that's a good thing. Yeah, um, I agree. It, and it's just, you think about it too. Like a lot of people work like either office jobs or even anything yeah. at work. Look how many people actually listen to metal music when you go into that. I mean, I worked in places where like everyone listened to like way different stuff than metal. I was yeah. the only metal hat at my work. So to come home, yeah. listen to this with your favorite creator that like actually connects with you in some way. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, yeah. do you do you ever get like stuck for ideas or anything like that? Like, do you just get like, ah, fuck, I got to put out a video. But like, what am I going to do? Like, how do you kind of get over those kind of things? Yeah. So uh, this used to happen to me a lot and it still happens oh, to me a lot okay I, but 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 the way i deal with it's different so mm. um i used to post like every day like religiously w whether the content was bad or not in, in my opinion like i i definitely kind of know like when i'm making a video i hinted at this earlier with like the brand of sacrifice video the choir one it's like i, I when I'm making it, I kind of know, like, is this, is this a, a good, is this an amazing video? Is this a good video? Is this kind of a bad video? I, I have a good idea when I'm filming and editing it. Yeah. Um, and so I started like giving myself like benchmarks. Um, so like if, if 
it's a bit different now with Instagram, the way it is with, with the following that I have, but like back, maybe like six, seven months ago, if I got a video on like TikTok that hit a hundred K views, I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not posting the next day. I'm like, ah, like oh, that, you're that religious just, on it. I'm, I'm like, okay, so, so this video is done well, cool. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a day to like, you know, if I have uh, five videos in drafts, I'm going to, I'm going to give myself a day off and be like, cool. I don't have you to film have, You have videos just, in drafts. <laughs> Um, I don't right <laughs> not right now. And this is why I like it. Yes, I'm in this right now. Matt's like, um, I'm but, going back to your stream and I'm cutting this shit up. <laughs> I'm using no, this no, podcast. No. Content. But by all no, means, no, no, go no. for it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I, uh, yeah. So, so, so because I work full time and, and my job can vary on like the time I work, like mm-hmm. we, just, just, just scheduling this, you know, it's like, yeah. it's like I, I might work like 11 to 7 PM and, and being it's like three I, hours apart. It's yeah, hard. Being three hours apart is difficult, but like if I'm working 11 AM to 7 PM, 7 30 PM, whatever it is. Um, it's like, if I want to work out in the morning and I want to take my dog for a walk, I have no time to film because the next day I might have to be up at five in the morning. So on my days off, it's like, I'll just bulk make videos uh, typically. And that makes so, sense. so I'll make like three or four videos or try to on my days off. I, I try and think of ideas as I go throughout the week. Like if I think of an idea, I just like write it down in a note on my phone. I'm like, it'll be the stupidest things. And I'll see if I can bring up some, bring up my phone. No, I, I totally understand that. I mean, there's some um, stuff I'll text it to my girlfriend just so I don't forget, but I never go back to it and be like, yeah, Yo, I need to go back to that idea and actually make that video. And I never do. Cause I, for me, yeah. it's just all day, every day, fucking edit next video, next reaction, next big song. Right. It's just right. go, go, go. And it's like, get the hottest fucking thing out there to make it do yeah. what it needs to do. But yeah. like, I'm the same I, way. It, yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I think our content, it, it's it's slightly different in the way that like, you, like for you, it's like new music is new content. You can, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. If, if I'm if I'm if I'm totally off base, but it's like if a if a band like releases a new song, you're like gotta get on that right now. Like Brand Sacks like, release song is like I'm listening to it, I'm recording, it, I'm editing it, it's getting out tomorrow. When reactions right? like, for YouTube, yes. it's like that for sure. The, the past couple right. weeks has been really better because there hasn't been a ton. I mean, I still have stuff that I would like to get out. Like there's half you me know. out there. There's the new uh, Left to Suffer song that I haven't been able to put out yet. But like yeah. I've been working a little bit more with like other bands to help promote them so like yeah. i feel like even my content has kind of shifted as well as much as like you know if architects mm. drops another song like you know i'll be on it but it's yeah. just like it, it's it sucks sometimes because like i really want to do the other stuff i want to help the smaller bands do all that stuff yeah, yeah i get it i mean it's 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 tough mm. um it's about balancing like what what you need to do now and what maybe you could save for later and then if you save it too long you now it's gone the moment's gone yeah um but yeah it's like it's like on my phone like so i don't know if, <laughs> if you watch my content you'll know what i'm talking about i made a video where it's like a character trait like metal as being a character trait yeah and like i had this idea just like randomly so my my note is new character trait unlocked apply question mark settings cannot be changed let's see fuck it lol sounds good <laughs> like like that that's the note and it's like okay like that's the idea and i just come back to it later and it's like i'll just write if i get an idea i just write it down and then i try and make like three or four videos on my days off oh uh, that's um, that works out pretty good then yeah and so, and so it works out it does kind of mean that because i would consider social media as a part-time job for me it yeah. does kind of mean i'm working seven days a week like my two days off i have for my current job i'm, I'm doing my part-time job um but I enjoy both jobs, so it's fine. Hell um, yeah. But yeah, so, so my, my process is that. Um, and, and, and some days I, I, like today, like I don't have any ideas. Um, I, ha- I have a couple of videos with like songs that I'm, that I'm thinking about, but I don't have ideas for those. It's like I have the song. Um, and my, my creative process goes one of two ways. It's either I'm trying to fit an idea to a song or trying to fit a song to an idea. Hmm. Right? So it's like, okay, so I, wanna, I want to use... Um, th- so, so for the lifeblood one the choir one it's like i i had the idea and the song at the same time that's like a dream scenario but sometimes it's like um okay like i've got an idea of, of the character trait unlock and it's like okay can i put a song in this is, is there a song that fits better i didn't put a song in that one originally but some videos it's like um maybe it's like a smaller band that wants me to use one of their songs and i'm like okay so i've got the song now now i've got to fit an idea to the song, whether that's yeah. to the breakdown, whether that's to specific lyrics that are in the song. Can I like, you know, use the lyrics kind of in, in like a normal conversation, meme kind of way. Do I just want to highlight the, the song? Do I want to just say you should go listen to it? Um, sometimes it depends what the band wants um, because as a content creator, especially with my format, it's like, the band, you know, m- might want me to use their song. So they want me to drive streams for them or, or merch buys or whatever it might be. Right. It doesn't necessarily how many doesn't necessarily matter how many views I get. 
right? It's like, it, it matters how successful the video is for them. So sometimes uh, like a video might not get a bunch of views for me, but it might get them a lot of streams. Like, like, like let's say I get a video and this, I don't want to sound egotistical, but let's say I get a video that gets like a hundred thousand views for me on Instagram. That's decent, right? That's really good um, for me at least. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's relative, right? But yeah. let's say I get like a hundred thousand views on Instagram. Um, but, but the band wants me to use their song and they get no streams from it. It's, it's an absolute waste of their time to have me. If I have a video that, get, that gets 50,000 views, which is, which would be poor for me on Instagram. Again, not trying to send it to school. It's just, yeah, yeah. that's just a number, just a number, but they, they get 5,000 streams from it. They might be, that, that might be fantastic for them. So, yeah. so sometimes it depends on the situation on the kind of video I might make. Yeah, um, you are a little bit different in that aspect as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah sorry, go ahead. Uh, I just feel like my yeah, our, our our content is definitely different in that aspect, especially depending mm -hmm. what you are filming. Um, I can definitely see that, and uh, like it's just it's cool to see a fucking video take off like that and like help a yeah. band for sure. So like when you're saying like yeah. for merch and that, and like like are you just like kind of voluntarily like say like you see this band, you like this music, then boom, you're just making content on it, or like how does that kind of work for you? If you don't mind me um, asking. Yeah, it d d depends on on the situation. You Sometimes um, like sponsor maybe videos for bands. Yeah, yeah. So so I. If, if a band like wants me to like use their song, um, typically it might be like a sponsored video where yep. they like, you know, pay, pay me some sort of monetary thing. I'm not going to go into specifics, but yeah, yeah. And then I, <laughs> and then I can make the video. Um, but I, I, I used to make a lot of videos, um, that were like, uh, bands that you should check out, like smaller bands that you should check out. Yeah. Those I never charged for. Th those were like, I'm just featuring bands that I think are small that, that should get, um, more and more views or that I think are great that you should check out. Whatever yeah. it is. Um, but it, yeah, it, 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 my, my, I probably, I don't get a ton of promotional videos. I, I wouldn't say like I, comparatively to, to, to the amount of videos that I post, like if I post like 20, 25 videos a month, like not even a quarter of that is promotional. So, and, and that's the thing. Like I, I wouldn't have thought that you've done that because like even looking at your link tree and everything like that, it's not like you have it posted out there somewhere or like no. even saying in the comments, like, you know, this is sponsored by this band, this band, this band type deal. Yeah. But like I'm the same way as well. Like I, I do, you know, promotional videos as well for bands where they'll, they'll pay me X amount of money and I'll, promote the shit out of them you know i'll yeah. make a reaction the TikTok, you know connect with everybody and then that's obviously more or less my goal is to get them the views yeah. the new fans and stuff like that and like right. so like i have a little bit of a team as well that kind of like scans this stuff for me and says mm -hmm. like hey this is uh you know you're, you'll have a good reaction to this orion or hey it's got yeah. a black in it it's gonna do good you know, like maybe accept this one and stuff. So it's been really helpful in that aspect. Obviously it helps me do this a little bit more full time than anything, yeah. but like, it's not like I, I work so hard with it. I mean, you've seen my editing style and you do yeah. some wicked editing too. So like, it's not like it takes, you know, five minutes on your phone to pay, to post yeah. kind of thing. So like, that's where I've had this discussion on my last podcast yesterday with uh, dark divine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of like the same thing as well. Like bands actually pay for features and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's, I, I just feel now, I feel a little bit more better about it because I've always been, I guess, I guess like ashamed about doing it. I guess selfishness Guilty. of it, taking money from bands to help promote them and stuff. But like, it's not even it's like that. It's like, I feel like there's a lot more to it, uh, especially when bands are like really good fan, like, I guess fans of you. I hate using the word fans. I just, I just feel like they're just part of the family type deal anyway. But yeah. It's just really cool that I'm able to help them in that aspect. And like, obviously, if there's a little bit of like a dollar amount to like to promote them, obviously, I only do it if I'm going to like it and yeah. uh, and and so on and so forth. So it's just I don't think there's anything wrong with that for sure. That's why I was kind of no. wondering, because like I, I haven't seen anything. I mean, I don't post it out there. I just get a ton of fucking emails from people saying, hey, can you react? Hey, can you put this one on your channel and this and that? So yeah. I just was uh, it's kind of cool to see it from your aspect as well as a different kind yeah. of content creator. Yeah, my, my my goal is exactly what you said, that you don't know. So so my goal is is that if you're watching a video, like I could easily make a video that says that I'm just like, hey everyone, I just heard this new song from this band. Swipe. Go stream it today. <laughs> and then that's it. Yeah. Right? Like I could do that. That might do well, might not do well. I have no idea. I've never done it. But but that that feels not authentic. 
if yeah. I'm making videos the way I make them and it's like, you know, there, and I'm not going to talk about what bands are, what, what songs are promoted, what aren't, yeah, but yeah. I've done some, you know, some, some videos for some big bands and it's like, you wouldn't know because it's just like, you know, I, I don't, my content style doesn't change. It's like, cool. I, I now have a song to use. Great. That's like half the battle for me is, is it's finding a song and finding an idea. So great. I've got the song done. Now it's fitting an idea to that song. Um, mm-hmm. but, but it's, it's, I don't, I understand why, why it, you feel guilty. And I, I felt that way too, especially at the beginning, but it's yeah, marketing. It is like, like we, we, we're basically marketing their songs for them. Um, and, and you know, like th- that's that like brands, bands, like band, Jesus brands pay to do that anyway. Right. Like at yeah. my work, at my gym, we pay someone to advertise for us. Right. To to get, to get, you know, new people into the gym. Right. Yeah. All gyms do that. Any, any business does that, right? You see ads all the time for, for vans, for monster, for band. You, you see, you see like when you're scrolling in your stories and you'll see like paid promotion for like a band with their new song. You see that too. So it's the same thing. Yeah. It's not, it's not like it's, it's, you know, anything different than that. So that's just it. Um, and so we, I feel the most guilty when a video doesn't do well. Like if, if I, if so I, I have that and, and I make a video um, and I'm just like, oh, shoot. Like I, that, that's when I feel most guilty. Um, I, I feel bad I too. Video. And then I'll, and I'll yeah. either repost it or I'll take another part of the song and like, I, I'll, yeah. I'll just try to like one up the next one for them. Yeah. But yeah. I, I feel you, man. It's, it's tough on that. <laughs> yeah. And but, it, it's tough. And I, I turn down promotions too. Like, yep. like, um, I, and, and a lot of times I tell them like for, for my style of content, you have to have something in the song. That's like kind of like a, a, a punching element to it, like like something to like grab onto. So there are some songs that are great songs that just don't fit my style of content. Yeah, straight up, it, yes. it's it's like there's I, there's nothing in this song for me to like to like grab someone's attention with, and I don't you know not in a bad way because the song might be great, but there's like you know like if if you have a really big bleh right. That's attention grabbing. <laughs> That's ninety five percent of my yeah. fucking content. But if I put in like a day seeker song, which by the way that video did very well, which I'm very yeah. surprised because it's just night and day difference. It's just yeah. like I've done some. Yeah. I tried fiddling around with some K-pop content, man, mm-hmm. and they actually didn't do too well. Like they did pretty good on there. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm kind of surprised. But I mean, like obviously yeah. it's got the good, you know, algorithm style stuff into it. Yeah. Like even on shorts, man. I think it was like the first hour had like five thousand views on one oh. of my other channels i'm like holy fuck i'm like i love i like k-pop i like listening to that kind of stuff but it's like man it it wasn't a black so why are people watching this (laughs) yeah yeah and so and so yeah you have to have something like unique about it so exactly yeah you you have to like just find like the song just has to work with your style of content and that doesn't mean that it has to be your typical content but it just has to has to be able to fit in with what you currently do yeah that's Uh, what's great um, about us content creators and us knowing a little bit more about the platforms that we're on like we know what's going to work on our platforms we know what's going to sell we know what's going to get plays and people on there i mean like there's random stuff which i find fascinating that just gets random shit like i mean that that one bluff video that got like six million views. I'm like, holy shit! The band's not even a band anymore. Wow. The, the, oh, I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, the band. No, so, I saw the video. Obviously, yeah. everyone did. Dude, Matt Cutshall fucking saw it. He, I was messaging so him in DMs. It was so fucking cool, and like a lot yeah. of people did. But uh, yeah, I. It's actually the singer of that uh, song with that blood. It's actually now the bass player for Boundaries. If you know that band. Oh. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So like I let them like spam everything. I'm like, dude, go in there and grab this. I'm like, I want the views and everything to yeah. go to you if the, if like this was your band yeah. too. But it's just really cool to see. I did not expect that, man. Yeah, that yeah. was fucked. <laughs> yeah, so some videos just take off. Yeah. Like, and there seems to be no rhyme or reason to it. Um, like, like that was a good video, right? But it's like it's like you might be sitting there like editing it. Like, yeah, this this is this fits in with the other content. Yeah. But, why, but why did this one get six million views? That's and why did right. another one get three thousand views? I know. Right? And it's then you like, dial it down to like what exact? So you go into the analytics. Okay, I posted this yeah. at ten thirty p.m. I'm like, yeah. no, it's actually ten twenty eight. I'm like, I have to yeah. hit that enter button right at there to so I can get another viral video, and it never yeah. ends up working that way. And it's like, yeah. do, do you do you have like a do you have like a time that you typically post? 
I did for a, a little bit. It was at 1028. <laughs> yeah, so, that's interesting. But it was uh, working I, for a bit. I was getting yeah. like literally like it was a hundred plus every fucking video yeah. for like maybe 12 to 16 videos. Mm-hmm. And then that one took off. Or no, sorry. That yeah. one took off first. Then I got those ones. And then it just like nosedived. That's why I messaged mm-hmm. you. I'm like, bro, what the fuck am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm like, it's I, the same content. Nothing, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I post at like 845 a.m. Yeah. I post early. Uh, I think one of the only people that posts early. Um, when I looked at my analytics, I realized that I have quite a significant following in like Eastern Europe. So, ah. um, like you're like, you know, you're, there's a lot of those countries out there. You're, you're Germany's, not that Germany's like necessarily Eastern Europe, but you know, Germany, like Scandinavian, uh, Finlandish area. Yeah. They, they love metal out there. So, um, I have a significant amount of followers over there. So it's like, if I'm posting at 8 45 AM, that's like, you know, 5 30 PM over there. So I'm, I'm True. getting them. And then throughout the day, like I'm getting a like a lunch time for like East Coast, so people might if they work they might be on the lunch break just scrolling, and then the West Coast it's like they might be just getting to work. And now ah, I'm not overthinking that a ton. No, I don't think you are but, at all. But, but that's like a time I've I only post at that time. Like I've been posting at that time for maybe a year and a half. Yeah, um, I've noticed that. It. And I think I asked you that at the yep. beginning of us doing TikTok. I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, is there a specific time you're? T-? And and I think I tried doing it at your time. And obviously, it was different because you're like three hours differently than I am. So I like I tried to do the math cool. and that. Tried to put, it just didn't work. So and mine is mostly U.S. So it's like, oh okay, yeah. I get it. So yeah, it's 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 crazy how the algorithm works there, man. Yeah. Um, if there's any, like, uh, what's it called? Like if there's any like advice that you could give to somebody, maybe even starting a little bit of like a a TikTok or like reels Mm -hmm. career in some type of way around metal format, is there anything that you would kind of like, uh, give some advice, maybe something that you wish you knew, uh, going into this at first? Um, I think I wish I knew, um, um, it's a great question. I I think, I think be authentic. Mm. It's a good one. Like uh, when I first started posting videos, generally, um, they weren't metal related. They were just anything related. I just posted whatever I want. Um, and then as soon as I started posting metal content, I think I like kind of realized that this is me, mm. right? Like I was posting about whatever and it's like, I'm just chasing virality at first. It was like, I'm just trying to chase a viral video. Um, but when I started posting about metal, it, it was just like, oh, I, I enjoyed making the content. You have to enjoy making the content regardless of views. The views, if your content is good, will come. Um, and the only way to get good at your content is to just make content yep. or, or to, to learn about it, right? To learn how to edit in, in Premiere Pro if you want to do that, to get, you know, um, learn you know how to yeah i guess editing is one of the main things but um learn different skill sets along the way Mm -hmm. but you just have to at first be you because you're gonna if you get like let's say you you generate a following of people and you generate generate a style of content that you might see success on online but you might hate doing it you're gonna regret that for the rest of your life dude i've I've fallen in that trap before and it wasn't even really a trap but like i you know i know k-pop videos do very well on youtube i i know in the first day i can get twenty five thousand views on that with like maybe 300 subs a fucking day but Mm -hmm. and same with ginger or like nightwish Mm -hmm. videos and stuff on youtube so like i could do all that but that's not me i mean i might do it a couple times so you know just to because somebody put it through my stream and I could post it and I know that, I, you know, it'll do okay. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, it's not me. So I, I definitely strongly agree with what you're saying. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, like a lot of people, I get comments that like, this guy only posts metalcore and deathcore. It's like, yeah, it's because all I listen to is metalcore and deathcore. Call it's, me it's like, I down, to bitch. <laughs> I know. It's, it's like, I might listen to some, um, you know, like new metal. I might listen to some death metal. I might listen to some whatever thrash or whatever, but it's like, I, I mostly enjoy metalcore and deathcore. So yeah. I'm going to post about metalcore and deathcore. You don't want me posting about things I don't like, you know, intently love. You, yeah. You're going to not see the authenticity there. So that'd be a big thing I would say. I, and I, I would say just, just post, like keep posting because the, I'm, I'm a firm believer in that you have to fail to succeed. So it's like, if you're posting videos and they're not doing well, change it. Right. So it's like, if, if you're, if you're doing, you know, if you're doing reactions and reactions aren't working, 
then go do something else. Like, it, you don't have to change drastically. Like, if you're doing reactions to metal music and they're not working, go and do, like, tier lists. Like, like, like go mm. do tier lists of, like, metal bands if that's not working. Go do comedy skits and metal, with the incorporating metal if that's not working. Go and do thirst traps to metal if you want. I, you, know, but you know what I mean? It's like, you, you, you have to change what you're doing because insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. And if it's not working, you have to just try something new. Yeah. Um, and, and so don't be afraid to do that. And, and um, even if something's going well for you and you feel like it's, you know, just going well, keep doing it. But also have the wherewithal to recognize that if something's tailing off, to change. Like, you know, it's like you can't be afraid of changing things. Yeah, um, maybe I, putting I some text whole, or something up, or like yeah, changing the lighting, it, or going outside. It could be so yeah. small. It could yeah. be so small. Um, it could be how you edit your videos. Like if you if you did videos that were like thirty seconds long, do the same style of content and shorten it down, or do yep. the same style of content and, and then lengthen it. Go a minute. Like it can be so minor changes, but but I think people these days especially get bored very quickly. Like thank in, you, in thank you, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, thank you to the people that are helping me. Uh, um, uh, or screw you to the people that help me, but yeah. Yeah, people get bored very quickly. <laughs> so it's like you you have to just change it up. I think you got um, to learn. Yeah, the the change up, the learn, like, and that's the thing. Like, learn how people's minds work as well. If you're going to take this in that serious yeah. format, I mean, for us, yeah, we we know we have to catch that first three seconds of yeah. uh, that hook in there to get somebody to watch, and the quick transitions, and the text, yeah. and the jump outs, and the shakes, and the red going yeah. down on the screen. Like, it all helps and plays a big yeah. part in that, and stimulates everybody's mind. But like, even for me, like, yeah, that that like. 20, I keep it like 25 to 30 seconds is like my mm. key mark only because I post my stuff up to shorts. If you have yeah. your if you have your video at least 25 seconds long, you can put an end card on that. So if you put an end card Ooh. up, see, that's another thing. I feel like it yeah. just shorts have a little bit more lead way in that. And you have a tip pop or sorry, a pin top comment. TikTok took that away recently. I used to fucking have that. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I used to post my fucking, like, where to get my merch shit in there all the time. So it's like, okay, that's gone now. But, like, now I've, like, kind of switched the way that I've edited things as well. Putting the name of the band at the end of the video because I know watch time is very important. It's like you're asking for, you know, the song of the name. Okay. Like, did you watch? They ask for it all the time. They're in the comments. They're like, what's the name yeah. of the song? What's it? Why don't you put it in the description? I'm like, watch to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. You're the best type deal. Build yeah. that relationship. They watch to the yeah. end. They watch it again because they need that song. Yeah. <laughs> and then the watch yep. time just yep. goes way up. The algorithm's a game. Um, That's a and, terrible and as game. Much <laughs> as, as much as like, you know, you should be authentic. Yeah. And, and do what you want to do. There's got to be one percent of it that is playing the game. And that's yeah. just the reality of it. That's it's just the reality. Only of it. Only if this and, is and what I'm, you want it to be as well. I mean, you yes. could do all this for fun. You can you know save these for memories of your kid. You know, mm-hmm. imagine us like what, listening to like Brand of Sacrifice and our kids like grow up and be like, yo, that's that yeah. old metal death metal band and like. This yeah. is how I was. I just leaving that legacy. Yeah. For, yeah, there's so many different ways. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. And if, if, if you're trying to make it to like be a content creator full time, you have to do certain things. Yeah. Um, just the reality of the game. Um, it's how you play the game. Um, and it's balancing everything, right? It's balancing being authentic. It's bal- balancing driving the algorithm. Balance. It's ba- bal- balancing um, enjoying the content that you're that you're making originally. Um, it's a life outside of social media. Like some people get so sucked oh. into social media and then they want to leave social media and there's nothing there. Right. It's yeah. like, whoa, like I've lost relationships with friends because instead of doing things, I'm sitting at home editing. They, they relationships deteriorate, whether that's whatever. It's like, you have to have the balance of See, everything. That that's um, where I lack. I, I, I am yeah. uh, the worst person to, to, to mimic in that aspect because I've been just so grind, grind, grind. My girlfriend and I, like, I, she's sometimes cooking dinner. I'll cut up shit quickly. I jump back on the computer. I'm still uploading. I'm mm-hmm. still doing a, a video quick. I maybe sit down, and it's bad. I know it's bad. Yeah. I, I, I feel like my balance is definitely so far in the whole algorithm and posting and, you know, that whole typical thing of everybody says is, like, do what everybody else is doing, but, like, 10 times more you're going to win. Yeah. I mean, I want to win. I want to be the, like, it's not even that I want to be the best. I just have so much fun doing this. I feel like there's so much content that I could be putting out there to blow me up in a spot 
where I can, when I do have a kid, like obviously, you know, relax, post one yeah. video a day type deal and be okay. Yeah. But I, I feel like I've always had that mindset and I know I need to change this. And if my girlfriend does watch all of this through, I, I'm, I'm need to do that as well. It's just change that mindset of just balance. And she's helped a lot in a way, yeah. but also like I, I, fucking fall off the wagon a lot of the times man I, even a weekend dude i i sometimes get so like jittery just because i haven't posted the video up but like yeah. i love going out for that reason it's like yo let's go out go yeah. for a walk or something. i'm like i just I, I i put my phone in my pocket and i try not to do anything unless i have like a sweater or something on we do a little bit of a photo shoot but she sure. loves doing the merch stuff and that so like it, yeah. it, it's a lot of fun but Damn, yeah. dude, I don't want to take too much of your time up. I know we're clocking in at about uh, an hour and 50 minutes here, almost two hours. Jeez. I know, time flies when you're just like talking about yeah. shit that you love. But dude, I just want to say I want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, yeah, you've definitely taught course. me a lot. I think you've obviously been an inspiration for me since uh, using TikTok and everything. And that was another that I was so excited for this uh, this podcast because I'm like, I know we're going to talk about so much stuff that I like. I obviously need to know. I want to see what he thinks about this stuff and there's just i guess not a lot of uh tiktok content creators that i really know that's why i had jess on as well i'm like jess knows a little bit mm -hmm. more about this stuff it's just really yeah. cool to see us uh growing and like also growing this metal community as well um yeah. the participation that's been going on the the cool stories that we're hearing these bands just blowing up out of nowhere for stuff so it's really yeah. cool and i i just want to say i appreciate all the content that you do it's a hundred percent not cringe because it just makes me smile and just uh -huh. like I appreciate that. yeah yeah. I appreciate that. But dude, pl no, and plug yeah, away uh, as well on our way out here. Like, like, yeah. Well, well, f well for, first of all, I'll say I appreciate you for having me on. Oh, um, fuck yeah. You know, I've, 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 I've done like one podcast before. So it's, it's fun. It's fun to talk about these kind of things. And, you know, I think, um, all content creators like push themselves mm. so so it's like you know you kind of constantly want to change the game and you you what you do inspires me too like in terms of you know like me trying to diversify my content it's like okay if i want to go into re a reaction space i want to look at that like i'm going to go to people that are successful and do a great job at it i and did the same you know, thing to, exactly so so you so you're awesome thank you so much for having me on um in, in the essence of like build relationships, don't hesitate to reach out, my friend. Oh. I'm always here. I'm always available. Hell yeah. Um, um, but yeah, pl plug myself on the way out. Um, go follow me. That's about <laughs> it. Um, and if I, you see him on the I, streets, I, tag him. <laughs> if you see if you see him on, if you see me on the streets, film me a video. Um, <laughs> take a video of me doing it, being weird, and then post it and say, "Can't wait to see this video." And then <laughs> no, that's about it. I'll do it. Right <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I yeah. Go follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Um, maybe I'll get back into the YouTube space. Got to find some time and be inspired by my friend over here. Damn. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. But I appreciate you having me on. It's been a great time. Hopefully people enjoyed my ranting and just talking up the wall about stuff. But I enjoyed it. I don't care about everybody so, else. I enjoyed it. <laughs> there you go. That's all that is. That's all, yeah. that's all that is. Perfect, dude. Well, thank you so much for having us. <laughs> I, I had Jeez. you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't really go on podcasts, but yeah, thanks for having me, Matt. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for hosting this one. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, dude. Take it easy and have yourself a great day. You as well, man. Peace.